fuck you doing? Remember that name? Good pizza with three Z's, baby. Three Z's. What up, familia? Welcome back to the Good Pizza Podcast. I'm your host, Jay Peasy. What's really good? Check this out. The Good Pizza Podcast is all about the beautiful cannabis plant, our journeys with it, how did our past intertwine, and where we're going from here. We're here to smoke some good tree with you, break some bread with you, and talk to the pizza. Today, we got a very special guest. This gentleman to the right of me is straight out of Omaha, Nebraska. He moved his talents out west and really got in motion, folks. He formulated Ted's Buzz Distro in LA with some fire branding behind it and of course, some fire in the bags. At Ted's Buzz, they pride themselves on supplying the market with legitimate genetics from grassroots cultivators. They follow my golden rule, only sell what you would smoke, folks. The top cannabis distribution company in the state of California and the top selling flower brand in California. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend Ted Lewis from Ted's Buzz. What's good, brother? What's happening with you? How you brother. doing, my man? Man, I can't complain. I, 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 I'm thrilled to be on the show. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Thank bro. you for having your boy. Definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to chop it up and get it in, man. You know? Love um, that. Love what you got going on, man. I appreciate the intro. You know what no what doubt. Saying? Hell no yeah. Doubt. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Feel like a boxer or something. You feel you know? me? Yeah, man. This shit. Um, yeah, I've been watching you for a minute, man. Watching the, the story, the brand, and like just, just pretty much to, when you when you hit the rec market scene, I'm I'm catching all this information from NorCal, so you were for sure making moves and making noise, man. So it's it's dope to finally you know chop it up, but you get to know your story and uh, do yeah. that on my show. Hell yeah, I'm okay. glad I'm glad we linked we, we linked that Liddy in the city, Liddy right? city, yeah. Hell yeah, that was yep. a lit ass event, man. That was shout good, out bro. them guys. That was a good event. Though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Did yeah, you go to the Olympics? I didn't, bro. I was in Sicily, brother. Oh, bro. Yeah, it was cool. Come on, bro. Yeah, it was cool. It was an okay miss. It was you okay feel miss. me? I still, it was fucked up because I still wanted to be there and shit because, you know, uh, shout out my bro Ted from Alien Labs. He won the, um, he won the proper doinks fucking Zolympics uh, bracket competition. Yeah. Um, and then just you know all the all the players are there you know what I'm saying it's, yeah. it's a great fucking event bro that was a good ass event man we had a good time we in place and shit it's all good yeah it was it was lovely though you no know what doubt. I mean when we took no when we took units up there man we sold out so goddamn fast no shit. Man. we had a line going crazy no shit you bro. know like shit I think we took we was only there from goddamn I think what time did it start four or something we got there like five o'clock start selling weed. And by ten o'clock, man, we was gone. We just bust down five units. It was out of there. No shit. The, the people fuck with us, man. I'm oh, very, it's heavy. I'm, I'm very appreciative heavy. of that. Like, and I think um, they fuck with us because we consistent. Yeah. You know the the cultivators that we deal with and grows that we're partnered with, man. They kick out real fire, and it's not something that's available to everybody. And yeah. I, I know you understand that process yeah. too, because oh, yeah. we both kind of in the same, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. In the same, we in the same boat, you Definitely, know, doing bro. our thing. So. Definitely, bro. Um, but that's hell tight. yeah, man, congratulations on Sicily, man. Going yeah, it was back good, to man. Country. You only turned 40 once, you know, so I had to do it real big. Oh, man, it was your birthday. Too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we did happy, it, man. Happy motherfucking Thanks, birthday, man. man. Thank you. Y'all mind me cussing it, on the show, dude. No, no, anything goes on a good pizza show, man. Just I'm, try not to say anything that's gonna incriminate yourself. And Show if you, you do, right. I'll edit it out. For sure. Ruben? Patreon only, you know what I'm saying? You got to pay to see that shit. Word. But if it's real bad, we'll keep it out. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. But uh, let's talk about it, man. Uh, let's, let's bring it back to the story, behind the story, before the weed shit. Uh, what was young Ted like in uh, Omaha, Nebraska? Tell me a little bit about it. I don't know too much about Omaha. You know what I'm saying? Omaha is a small place. It's real gutter. Um, I've heard it's, that. It's, 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 it's pretty segregated, you know what I mean? You got the blacks over down north, mm -hmm. you got the, the you got the Hispanics over south, and you got the white people out west, so it's okay. real segregated. Um, of course, you know it's not, that, it's not that many black people there, you know what I mean? It's not too many people of color there. Um, it ain't too much to do, but I mean, you got some gems out there, you yeah. know, like the thing is football, basketball, wrestling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And bo boxing now, since Bud doing this thing, Shout you know what I mean? Bud, Put, man. You know, Houston, Houston Alexander did his thing with UFC. You know what I'm saying? And now here come Ted, man. You know, with the weed, just to yeah, top it all me. off. That's you know, so we dope, we got some bro. hidden gems in, in Nebraska, man. Yeah. We some tough people. When people think and when when I tell when I tell somebody I'm from Nebraska, or like even when I used to apply for jobs and shit yeah. like that, I know that people immediately associate that with hard work. 
Oh, you know what shit. I mean? Like they associate Blue that. Town? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They associate that with, with hard work immediately. So no doubt. I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I don't mind doing whatever. So the, the hustle is there, the hunger is there, and it ain't going away. So yeah. But a young but but the young Thiznes, man, you know, I was riding around on the, I was riding around stealing bikes. I was riding on <laughs> on the on on the on the handlebars on the, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, on my cousins' bikes, you know? And hell yeah. You know, the Nebraska's all different, the hood shit. You know, it was kicked back, but right it was, had, had a very good childhood. But I've been That's back good, and man. forth between That's there good. and Los Angeles my whole life, though. Oh, yeah, what was the connection with Los Angeles? You had some family out there? No, nah, my mom ended up moving. Oh, no shit, okay. <laughs> and then we ended up going with her and shit. Yeah. Whereabouts in LA? Shit, I think the first time we mo- when we first moved here, we were staying all the way in Victorville. Then we moved to Orange County. Then we moved to Norwalk. Then we moved to Paramount. And we we were just kind of all over Flowing. the place. We was all over. Yeah. We was always moving. I don't like I said it before. I've been to six high school. I don't been to countless schools in oh, general. Oh no shit! I was like like a no a nomad baby. You know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. So this is all through the high school days. This is all from element all throughout, like elementary all the way. I've been back and forth. Whenever my mom couldn't take care of us or some shit went down, yeah. we went to live with my grandparents God, or with my God, grandma. God, Not God. my grandparents, but with my grandma. Okay. And so that's where, and, and then every summer, every goddamn break, any holiday, long weekend, we was in Nebraska. Okay. You know, you. so at Los Angeles was never really our home. I got you. You know what I mean? We yeah. had no family here. We was always at somebody else's house on Thanksgiving or, you know, if we was here, some shit like yeah. that, you're not around family. For so sure. it didn't, wasn't really connected to the spot, to oh, LA I like that. I got you, I got you. So you never planted your feet. Claim the town or a block or a crew. Not until now, I be, shit, I've been there so long. Okay. I'm not gonna deny it no more. You right, 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 right. I've been there so fucking long, but Nebraska's cool, man. I love it to death. It's tattooed on my stomach. You know what I'm saying? The the house I grew up in, tattooed on my shoulder. No I shit. I rep it to death. Hell yeah. I'll punch I'll punch somebody in their mouth, get the, you know what I'm saying, talking disrespectful. Talk you know what I'm saying? You you know you, 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 you from Jersey, man. Yeah, 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 somebody yeah. come talking greasy. Yeah, yeah, we done punch some people in the mouth. That's right. So you That's know, cool, man. It's been it's been cool, man. That weed shit is is a no go in Nebraska. Yeah, what's the weed culture like there, man? Um, mids, man. You know what I'm mids, saying? Mids. Yeah, you no you got the kind of sewers, but the you got the kind of sewers, but at the end of the day, man, it's mids. Yeah. You know what I mean? The Midwest yeah. is like people ain't got the bread to to have a to have fucking gas. You know, nah, to pay for that. it. You got to stretch. It. And like like you said, this blue card thing. They got They got to stretch their weed throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So they they want an ounce for the cheap, seven, whatever yep. the fuck. You know, you might be able to come through with some gas and do your thing, but you ain't gonna move a lot. There ain't no New York or no Jersey, no DC or nothing like you. that. I got you. You know, yeah. so I'm from a place where that's not the drug of choice, or that's not okay. the that's not the substance of choice. What is? I'm uh, shit. It's, Everything else. <laughs> it's tweakers where I'm from. It's tweakers. Tweakers. Okay. See what I'm saying? For sure. That's where that's where that's where it's at. I'm right next to Iowa. God damn it. Missouri. Okay. Yeah, my geography's terrible, bro, but I do remember when I moved out here in Nebraska, it fucking killed me on that ride, bro. From riding from east to west as the never ending fucking state. Bro. Yeah, straight up. Oh my straight. god. You drove oh you drove through there down to eighty? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's dangerous, yes, bro. Yes, sir. That's dangerous as fuck. Nope. I'm I straight. Whole, you take the long way. I had my whole house on the back of a fucking truck, bro, moving from the east coast to the west coast. I remember I remember going through there. Come on, man. Yeah, Nebraska. We have too much work on us. Every time you open up the Instagram and see blacklist, shit, somebody getting, somebody getting, you know what I'm saying? Busted over in Nebraska on I-80. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They probably sitting ducks out there. They sitting ducks waiting. They waiting. Damn, man. They want to see what's up. They pride themselves on that. Oh, no shit. You know what I mean? Come through here. We're going to get you. Yeah, they pride themselves on that. So, like, uh, Pete Ricketts will never let this shit become legal. Okay. Even though it be on the ballots and shit like that, he'll never let that shit become legal because Nebraska, just like Pen- uh, Pennsylvania, is it is it wreck over there? It is, but it's a Commonwealth state, so like you can have guns, like the gun shit's cool out there in PA, uh-huh. but like as far as like if you get jammed up with some drugs, they're gonna they're gonna bang you. you yeah, you know how like just how Pennsylvania be tripping, like yeah. when you when you driving through that bitch. Oh yeah, Nebraska, it's it's like that. I guess it would be like y'all PA. I got you. Okay, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get hit in jer- in PA. That's the cop with the fucking hat on. Yeah. He's going to break yeah. your balls. Yeah. You know, have you all that's, the car. That's what yeah. you're going to deal with. Okay. Ain't no Got getting it. off, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, ain't no short. Ain't <laughs> yeah, no yeah, break. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Like, in PA, like, like I said, like, you'd be cool. You, you can you can roll around with guns, 
but the drugs are going to bang you. In Jersey, you can't even have guns. You get caught with a gun, it's not that bad. But like the drugs, you get off easier. Yeah. So it's like a... And yeah. I learned real close... I lived real close to the border, like 20 minutes. Um, so I was constantly in both states every day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Moving, shaking, calling uh-huh. what you want to call it. That's um, how so Iowa is. I remember that shit. That's how Iowa is oh, like, yeah? to Omaha. Like you can see Iowa is right across the bridge. Oh no shit. Yeah. Omaha's on the uh on the coast of or the edge. It's of right the next state? to the Missouri River. So oh, okay, gotcha. It's gotcha, right gotcha. there uh on the edge on the natural border. So right, you got Missouri right there okay. two hours away, Kansas right there, you got goddamn okay. uh uh South Dakota right above that and you got Iowa neighboring us. Okay. So you know. But, you ever been to the uh Ozark? Mm-mm. Lakes? Okay, just scared. You said Missouri. Hell, dog. My family and shit, they go hunting and do all that shit, baby. Oh, that's cool. Hunting, all my uncles fish. They go crazy. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they real outdoorsy people, you know? No doubt. So, what was you on? Shit, man. I was always on my academics, bro. Like, okay. keep it real. I was always on my academics. My mom instilled that shit in me early. Like, it oh, was all great, about man. grades. You know what I mean? So. I was always on some getting good grades shit. Good. No, I, I fell into other shit, huh, goddamn yeah. on, on bullshit, you I know what I mean? It. Damn, you wrote that nice. Oh, you thanks, gonna bro. teach me that technique. I got I, you, bro. I, I, I rolled something stupid, but I haven't seen that. I got you, bro. I haven't seen that process, which you I just did. I got you, I did got you, you. Did you lick it or did you wet it? I licked it, it? yeah. Yeah, I like that, I like what you did there. Yes, sir, and then I just let the glue dry, bro. This is one of the biggest, um, biggest game changers for me. Once you do that part, really all you gotta do is get the bottom part um, tight right here. Yeah. The rest of the shit could be loose. Look, this is, this is loose. Just let that glue dry for a minute, and then you can pack it down and you're good to go. These are the defective ones that we that we roll. That's why I took them. I was like, oh, they're defective. So I'm like, defective how it. just like the base is kind of uneven. Base, base fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But I showed them how to roll um, my staff. Still got good pressure. I mean, yeah. I you mean, you gotta that, have the good pressure, man. Yeah, it smokes. It smokes. It does its thing. So one thing I've learned is uh, if you could roll a nice joint, but if it doesn't have good pressure, like if it's too airy, like you could squeeze it too much, you could have you some white ass shit that won't even burn white, bro. Come it's on. not combusting properly. It won't even taste the same. Too much airflow. Yeah, too much airflow. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Or had that bitch too tight. And no airflow. That part. Yeah, that part. And then it should be smoking itself. <laughs> there you go. So there you we, go. we put like the custom tips in there. We got from Biochem. Shout out Biochem. Yeah, shout man. Biochem, man. Shout, shout out Nico. Out, you know what I'm saying? Shout them guys the out. homies. Hell yeah, man. Um, so after high school, bro, what happens? After high school, I ended up going to Cal State Northridge. God damn it. Okay. Ended up bumping into my, you know, my roommate was from Berkeley. Okay. Taught me how to do some things. Okay. Capitalized on it for real, cause I wasn't on. I really wasn't on the. I always smoked weed. Like okay. my first time smoking weed when I was eight years old. So I always smoked Ooh, weed on and off. Out. And shit. Let's talk about that. What's up, pizza fam? It's your boy JP. Good pizza. Check this out. I'm getting a lot of questions on where I can find the fire good pizza. Check this out. We got you covered. We're in NorCal, SoCal, Central Valley, San Diego. We got you covered on the slices. Peep the list. Go check out the shop. Tell them good pizza sent you. Peace, love, good pizza. Hell I was yeah. gonna ask later, but you just you just brought it up. You know what I'm so saying? So eight years old, and then we'll circle back to the roommate. Yeah. Eight years old, just smoking on the porch uh, next door to my grandma's house at my cousin's house. Ooh. You know, my cousin was older than me. I was the youngest. I see. You know, so uh, smoking in. And now I kind of think about because I, I was even smoking at like 10 years old and shit with my other cousin. And I'm like, I'm like 10. This nigga like 14. If I was 14, I would have never gave my little cousin, no, my 10 year old cousin, some no. weed to smoke. Like, the 90s yeah. were crazy, bro. We was kids. Oh, kid. 80s, and it, 90s, whatever, whatever this happened. Yeah, it was, it was the early, uh, early 2000s or early something. Early 2000s, okay. Or 99, early 2000s, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. What a good what, guy, though. Mark. I'm sure he's a great guy. Mark. He just wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted someone to smoke with. Come here, Ted. Yeah, so back there. Yeah, little homie. So how was that? How was that on your eight-year-old brain? You might have made... You might have, uh, you might be the youngest fellow on the show so far. You want to know what's crazy? One what's time, up? all right. So I ended up coming. Uh, I went went back to California. I was already smoking like at that ten, eleven year old, like 
on during them summers going back home and shit, I'm I'm smoking. And then uh my cousin Jock and Sir used to be talking shit to me because I was smoking with Jock older brother, my cousin Mark. Oh. And they used to be talking shit to me. And I remember I forgot how old I was, twelve or thirteen, dude. I went I went back to Cali, I came back for a summer and everybody was calling me slow. Everybody was calling me slow. They're like, nigga, you slow. Like so I think during like during that time, yeah. Like you know, I'm smoking straight Reggie. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. I'm not smoking yeah. gas at the young sure. ages, dog. But they all talk like I heard it multiple times one summer. Nigga, you slow, dog. Well, you slow, like you know what I mean. Why would they call you that? So, Cause you smoke too young. I I always wonder, like, man, did I fuck myself up developmentally? Oh, you know what I mean. Oh. To where I had memory loss, or to oh, where okay. you know what I mean. I Something was noticeable. Yeah, it was no, it was noticeable to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't catching on to certain shit or I was spaced out, you know? Oh, I was probably shit. lightweight fried or something back yeah, then, you know? Right, right. I had to reboot sure. my shit. For so, sure. But, you know, um, my roommate from Berkeley, Omar, yeah, yeah, man, that's my dog, man. It probably would be no Tez Buzz without that nigga Omar, man, oh, straight shit, up. Man. Omar and shit, Chris, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Even that nigga Mike Simbiotti Carroll, nigga, it would be no Tez Buzz without without my Bay Area Foundation yeah. at all. You know what I'm saying? That's tight, bro. You, uh, because they the ones who really put me on. Because I wasn't known for selling over. Like, man, I worked at GameStop. You know what I'm saying? I worked at Burger King when I was 14, 15. Sure. Then GameStop. Then went to college. Like, I was, on, I, was, I was going to school. Like, my main thing, I wanted to be a veterinarian. Okay. So I was on the straight and narrow with my shit. Sure. You know what I mean? And my mom wanted me to build them uh, wind turbines and shit. She wanted me to go to school yep. for that. Yeah. You know, but I ended up going to Cal State Northridge, biology major, um, and uh, ended up linking with them and we started getting fried all over again. <laughs> <laughs> started getting fried all over again. I was again. the best in college, bro. But I, but I go four years bio, four years, four years bio, get fucked up at chemistry. Cause like, yeah, with back bro, it's then, impossible, bro. Back, back then, like, and then when I met them, they smoking mokes. You know what I'm saying? So they smoking what? They, they putting a, the American spirits in there with that, oh. they, and we and we doing bong rips. Oh, you know, oh. this is all through college, so we getting what black. Like, and I'm doing this shit. I'm doing this shit every single day, going Off to top. class. Yep. Fucking up on tests, seeing like obvious shit that I'm fucking up on, trying to redraw like a you know a. a was it a, like protein pumps and shit like that? And yeah. like DNA structures or yeah, like yeah. the translation and transcription, all that shit. Yep. So like I'm looking at shit, I remember, because I'm like, dog, I was like, how did I fuck up on all this shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. But I ended up having to transfer my shit, um, change my shit before I lost my financial aid to African studies and I finished out my last my last two years with that. Okay. You know, I finished that shit out. and um, But bio, I'm coming back for you. I, st I fucking love animals. Still have a still have a love for that. Hell yeah. Okay, for animals. Got you, got you. I was wondering what the correlation was. That's why I'll be, be putting animals on the bags and shit like that. I yeah, fucking, yeah. I, I got a shark on my leg and a fucking That's cool. T-Rex and shit. I, I love animals, bro. Do you really? Shark and a T-Rex? Yeah. Yeah, those are good. You want to know why I got the shark? Because it was Shark Week, first of all. Fucking shout out to Shark Week. Shark bro. Week. Fire. Timeless, bro. Timeless, so, yeah. And then I was like, God damn. I started thinking about it. I'm like, I'm a shark out here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm a your, shark. That's nigga, your character trait for you sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm a shark, dude. And I start thinking of myself like that. And nigga, I'm not playing. Because when it comes down to anything I'll do, like any any fucking thing I'll do, dog, I I get you I I take it to fucking heart. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a can like I think it's a competitive a competitive thing yeah. with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think it's a competitive thing with me. Like if I see somebody do something, dog, I'm about to do that shit like like I'm about Way to go better. crazy. Like once I see that it's possible, like I'm like, oh yeah, it's it's on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember yeah. I told one of my partners, well my partner back then, I think I was nineteen years old and he was already getting money. You know what I mean? He was twenty three already. Yeah. And I told that nigga, I said, Watch, I'ma catch you. I said, I'ma catch you. I said, you by the time I'm your age, I'ma catch you. And I like I'm not saying like I caught him or nothing, but nigga, I I was not playing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hell yeah. And so, like I don't know. Just Did you catch him. Yeah. You dunked him. I I don't even want to speak. Yeah, That's no, all. No, I can no, only talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Even it, it's just. A, I just don't even. You caught him. That's all that matters. You did yeah, some shit. You, you did said it. Shit. You did it. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful, man. I love that. 
But so now you gamed up. You're in college now. Your man gamed you up. Show you how to get some get some things off. What, yeah. what happens now? I'm just full fledged. Yeah. I'm going. To, I'm yeah, going to school. I got a. I, I got a goddamn gun in my book bag. I got twenty thousand over. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit! Oh, you jumped in. Jumped like in. I'm, I'm leaving class. I'm leaving class, getting straight in the whip. Yeah. Nigga going straight to Oakland. They go meet that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They go be him, and then go. You know what I'm saying? And go and go get on and come right back and be back at school the next day. Yeah. Okay. Then then so I'm doing this. I'm hustling. Uh, I'm getting it in. I'm getting it in. I'm back and forth. I'm in and out the state all the time. I'm gone. Yeah. And then. Then it turned into a situation where I had an opportunity to open up a shop. I had accumulated enough mm-hmm. money to open up somewhere. Nice. This is 2015, or this is 2015, 2014, 2015. Okay. Um, I'm still in school. I, okay. I go down South Central, or really on the west side of LA, um, uh, Crenshaw and Martin Luther King, or really Arlington and Martin Luther King. Okay. So it's a, it's a, a little building over there or whatever. And a nigga that a nigga that I did business with or not, and that I went to school with ended up putting me on the lawyer because I seen he had a shop open one time when I yeah. went to go get some weed from him. And then I was and he had me meet meet him up there and he put me on his lawyer. So I went to the lawyer at the cannabis law group and um hollered at hollered at the lawyer, got my paperwork mm-hmm. and then presented it to the lady um who owned the building and she let me rent it out. I go in there with uh with my uh my contractor. You know, build it up, the walls, yep. the, the plexiglass, fucking the, the buzz gates, all of that shit, reinforced doors, all that good shit. And I open up over in South Central. Nice. You What's know, the name of the shop? Uh, Husker Boy Associates. Okay. So Husker Boy, um, behind now, I got that tattooed on my stomach. But Husker Boy is what we used to call my cousin Jacquez. Okay. And you know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Uh, Husker, we, we, we from the Corn Husker State. There you go. We Nebraska okay. cool, corn cool, husker. Cool, cool. That's right. That's so right. So he got he got a husker boy on his arms like okay. that. Okay. And so um he ended up losing his life, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Yeah, rest uh, in, in, peace, in 2013. Man. So I named it after him. Oh, that's cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? That. HBA, just Husker Boy Associates. My hom- my homies, best friend who hired me from GameStop, jumped into it with me. The other homie, um, jumped like like bro, solid individuals. We got you like I wasn't able to pay them. You know what I mean? I was just hoping to have a good day, but then even then, I fucked up because during this time, it's Prop 215, it's hundreds of shops around me. It's one across the street, it's one down the block, it's one in the alley right behind me, <laughs> and they selling to anybody. Miners don't give a fuck, they going crazy. You got $10, $5, you got, they getting it off. Yeah. I'm selling Cali Kush Farm shit in my shit. I'm going to the Kine Center on Balboa up in the valley after I leave school. When I yeah. get out of school to run to run down there, I go re-up and go cop the cookie dough, the the motherfucking sunset sherbet, I, the venom OGs, all that shit. I was down there, I was down there grabbing that shit, and I take, I buy about a QP, go down to the shop, restock my shit. Now I'm selling the Ace for forty five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had certain people coming in, but they was I, I never really seen no business, so I really lost. And when I told it up after all the construction, I probably lost about sixty k doing that because I was working hella hard, hustling double time to support this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I'm gone all the time. I'm doing my thing, and um, it uh, it ended up failing. They broke in it uh two times. Fuck. I ain't have shit in it. Okay, cool. You I never left shit. Yeah, I took it all. I yeah. took it all home with me, and then it wasn't a lot anyway. Like you was no gonna doubt. get some glass pipes. You was gonna get some goddamn yeah. some shake for sure. Gotta have that shake jar, and then you was gonna get. Like they took my Tims. I had some Tims in there. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't shit in there. But even then, I used to sleep in that bitch. I had a futon there, so I used to sleep down there. Yeah. You know, I used to be just posted. the whole shit down. Just the whole shit down. Yeah. And then you know, I didn't. I didn't want to have to drive all the way back up to the valley and all that there shit if I ain't had class and shit. Cause now I'm about to graduate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nice, so, bro. And you you still went to college through this whole ordeal. Yeah. Running a shop. Wow. Yeah, running a shop. And then, then I turn around. Uh. My, co- uh, my cousin is out here. Me and my cousin, we got a, a spot in Van Nuys. You know what I'm saying? We going to school. We go to the same school and shit. Mm-hmm. His brother come move out from Nebraska and come stay with us. Um, I'm like, man, I can't keep buying weed from the kind center. I can't keep buying weed and reselling. I'm not making no money. I'm losing. So I'm like, dog, I need to grow this shit. My cousin Trey, love that nigga to death. Um, uh, my cousin Trey, 
uh, real math, uh, man, a genius. Trey is a genius when it comes to math, when it comes down to being precise about shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's very precise when it comes to shit. So I, I seized from uh, Divine Wellness. I got the alien, alien, I forgot, alien something BX1. I bought seeds. Aliments? From Alien, fuck, dude. If somebody comment and put what that fucking strain is, uh, right? sure. Because I forgot. From what Peter? I'm sorry. I, OG Alien Urkel, Pur purple, uh, okay. something Urkel. Okay. It was an alien something. Oh damn. So all right. Anyways, um, we pop him in a in a. You know, he reads a book on it. He goes on YouTube about hella shit. End up popping all the seeds in the closet. You know, at our at our new spot over in Canoga. Right. So pop all these seeds and shit and um grew it out it came out pretty decent okay i said you know i got i know a couple homies who have fucking grow houses all like around here i'm gonna do the same thing but i'm gonna go out to victorville i'm gonna go rent some way out there four bedroom house 1400 bucks a month i don't give a fuck where i live at as long as we able to get some paper there yeah so <laughs> so we in victorville now i bring my my contract oh, we we got mini splits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, here it comes. We got mini splits. You know what I'm saying? We go in this bitch. We throwing we throwing up the um, sun. Fuck, dude. I forgot the fucking names on them. Sun something. You know the hoods, the big ass fucking hoods. And I had like, yep. Had I think it was ten lights in one room, and another one was uh, another one was goddamn. Fuck, dude. I'm trying to Damn, think. Ten lights in one room. That was a big room. Ten light. Ten lights in one room. Five five. Nice. Five, five. Well, three and then, rooms. And then, uh, yeah, because one of them was just the bedroom, and then bedroom, the, clo yeah, the yeah. closets were the, were the nurseries. Boarded yeah. up all the fucking windows. Nice. Um, boarded up all the fucking windows. We started. Yeah, right. We we went in there soil first, and then we went okay. cocoa. Yeah. Cocoa reacted too fast to the newts, and sometimes you should shock the plants oh, and yeah. shit. And, like, especially when, back then, we were using like flushing agents, so we didn't use that much water out of the house. Oh, so gotcha. we're using flushing agents, and it would dry the fuck out of the plants, dude. So we're growing. I, I got a seed from the Cali Kush Farm Sunset Sherbert. I got a seed from from uh, some uh, fuck platinum 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 cookies. Platinum cooks. Platinum yeah. cooks. And um, I'm popping the bag seeds that I've accumulated from at this shop. Oh from no, smoking. Shit. We're popping these seeds because I'm like, I don't, nobody want to add purple alien urkel with some shit. You know what I mean? Like, when we grew it out, it wasn't like some weed. I would smoke like no that. No doubt. But it still came out decent to where I know there's potential. So I invested my money in this. No doubt. We go up there, fucking, we running some Skywalkers. Ooh, uh, nice. Sapphire, Sapphire missed Cushion. Missed that one. Yeah, missed that for oh, sure. I Skywalker, bro. I'm like rambling, bro. My bad. No, no, no. You're good. This is the story, man. This is the story. Keep going, man. So. We growing this shit. Uh, we had a one pheno of the Cali Kush Farm Sunset Sherbert that was like a birthday cake pheno, we called it. Okay. And we had another one that, uh, the uh, we had another one that grew out like blue sherb. Came Ooh, out straight nice. blue. And so like, um, like straight blue, it was fucking, and I'm not talking dark blue. This weed was like crystallized fucking just, it was, it was so, it was so crazy. It, Cause it wasn't green, but it yeah. wasn't all the way purple. Yeah. You know what I mean? Had that wild blue tint. It's like a blue tint to it. So it used to look crazy. And so we used to sell our pounds to uh, Divine Wellness, La Bread Collective, anywhere I go get them off at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of a lot of bad harvests, but during those times, I was able to get real acquainted with the plants. Um, I was able to spend a lot of quality time with my cousins um, and, and connect with them and build, like, lifelong memories. You know what I mean? That's great, bro. And so we did... Cocoa soil, cocoa soil mix. Uh, fucking ran um, veg bloom for a minute because we knew that uh, we used to follow the Jungle Boys. Okay. So we were using veg bloom for a minute. Then there was a uh, what's that other one, bro? Fuck, dude. Heavy sixteen. Okay. Um, start and being in being in the IE exposed me to weed events before Rolling Loud got big. Blazers okay. Cup, the High Times, all that shit that was going on in San Bernardino yeah. before it really got big, like all that Kush stock shit. Yeah, and like I miss all that shit. Like bro. back when Lemon Tree was up there, back when like 
uh, the capulator was up there back when you know, okay. when you get all the you know the mac and all cheese the dope and all, shit. all that shit. Yeah. And that's where I ended up meeting Jeff from Y East Farms. Okay. You know what I mean? That like one I went to like a few years later, you know what I mean? But buying seeds from fucking Were you backing any of this shit up when you were when you were popping seeds or you guys were just finishing them out and No, no, we we're cloning like okay, crazy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cloning like crazy. Sure. Um yeah, we used to clone like crazy. Like, but that's, I feel like that's like one of the most, I don't wanna call anybody's job easy, but that's like the sweetest lick. Clones, bro. Yeah. Clones, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, I ended up uh, connecting with a lot of different people. Also being so uh, fascinated and intrigued with genetics, I ended up um, in always being on soulseeds.com looking at what people are coming out with. Yeah. All these different seeds and copping seeds from there too. Um, that's when I got exposed to fucking uh Thug Pug Genetics, which led me to the peanut butter breath that I went to try hella bad. Yeah, um, bro. There's a S um I forgot the name of the guys over in um Toronto who grow it. Um I was fascinated with theirs at first and that's how I came across Dub's Garden because he was that's the only person he he was the only person like really who had it yep. at all. And he came out with them bags too. And then, the so he really bags. killed it. That was fire, bro. And so I was fucking reached out to Doves on Instagram. I used to reach out to everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to chop it up, just trying to get some game. And I really, I was really still driving up to the bay all the time. So like, shit, I'm already grabbing what I need to grab, but I don't smoke this. So I'm looking for some kill. I want a pound of kill just for myself. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? And for the house to smoke when I go back, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean. For for us to smoke, so I go to go to Frank. Uh, I mean, go you know Frank. Shout out, shout out Frank. But I go to Frank and um, go fuck with him, man. He he had to kill. He had meat breath. He was sitting on genetics, bro. Sitting on seeds, like he was like a god to me, bro. When it came down to it, like genetics, he was on. Mm -hmm. Besides him and Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz Lemon Tree, mm -hmm. like I didn't want shit else, like. You know what I'm saying? So like the peanut butter really fucked me up and really like, and then Oreos came and he, he dropped the Oreos and the peanut butter scotch. So I'm I'm just fucking with him. Then he turned me on the backpack boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. cause, I, cause now I don't really want, I, I don't want a whole pound of peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? So no I kind of want to mix it up. No doubt. So he like, go fuck with them. You know what I mean? They got my shit too. Okay. Now I'm going over there buying. So I'm meeting up with these niggas doing, uh, just, just trying to get, you know, an ounce or two for myself, no you doubt. know, get, some, get a little bit of peanut butter, some runs, get some goddamn GMO cookies, get some goddamn just picking shit up, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, one day they came, uh, they came serve me. I had some cookie rack on me from one of my boys who had brought it from Humble down uh, that I met in the high desert. And then I gave it, I gave it the wine. I was like, hey man, smoke this, tell me what you think. You know what I'm saying? And he like for sure, but then I go get back in the car and I see the window roll down. He trying to, he trying to say something. And he like, you got more of this? Sure. I'm like I'm like yeah, I got more of it. I'm it's in that light, but you know what I'm saying? It's more of it for sure. He was like, all right, I'm gonna hit you. So we we ended up kind of chopping it up from there. Nice. And just 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 niggas just I don't know why watching watching uh watching Juan bro, like back then, the before the lemon cherry gelato came out and shit. Yeah. Like watching his business moves, like watching how his temperament when it came down to business, and like when I say somebody, I ain't never seen somebody phone ring so so much, nonstop. And it, I gotta get the, uh, you know what I'm saying? It pinging, yeah. pinging hard. Yeah. Like, and he not getting mad on each call. I'm like, this nigga, on, he on some other shit. Yeah, yeah. He on some other shit, and I'm like, that that inspired me a lot. Because I seen how patient he was with everybody, you know, you know what I mean. And um, I I know how busy he was back then, so I can only imagine now. What it's like now, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So like, um, I start fucking with dude. We start doing business. I start going over there. Um, I went over there a few times. We sat up and we wrestled and boxed and all that shit and was sparring and shit. Oh no, kicking. shit! You just you got in a session with him? 
Hell yeah, nice, hell bro. yeah. Hell that, yeah. That motherfucker, he, that nigga's cold, man. That's bro. a cold, that's a bad man right there, man. Yeah, man, hey. he's highly decorated. Hey, you, don't highly fuck, decorated. you don't fuck with that man. I'm nah, telling you right now. Don't, don't, like don't, don't fuck with that man. Don't fuck with that man. Bro, I look at people's ears, bro. I'm like, nah, I want no sauce. Oh, yeah, you see that, cal- that cauliflower? I see that cauliflower, I want no sauce, you see the, boss. You see that shit in Nebraska a I'm lot. I'm not trying to wrestle with you, playboy. Yeah, like. This fight's going to the ground. Quick. For sure. A few fights I've been to, I took niggas down, man. Can you I wrestle, put, man? I I ain't wrestle like officially, but can I, you? I can wrestle. Okay, I can wrestle. I cannot. Like I'm, so I try to stay on my toes. I'm, de- I'm I definitely, box, like I'm definitely better than the average box. bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell I yeah, box. I'm toe to toe, baby. And so I, I was getting in there no with, smoke. I was getting, I was getting in there with him and uh, him, fire. Dom. You know what I'm saying? Bully, motherfucker. That's uh, how you become friends with somebody. Fight him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Get get a little, get a little. You know what I mean? No, Let's go come around, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So you know, I was all, I was up there fucking with them, and um, I I just soaked up so much game, and then the LCG came, <laughs> and I remember the lemon cherry, and it was like, and it's crazy because I didn't like it, and I told him, I'm like, man, I, I never I never want to buy. It. I'm like, man, I don't like that shit. What? You know what I'm saying? I didn't like that shit, but they had the they had the the uh, Garrison Lane, they had the OG. Yes, and they did. I remember that uh, time. Period. Then another one was called something elephants. Forty one elephants. Yeah. Forty one elephants and shit. And then like, you know, shit. Legalization really came, man. Around this time, I ended up shutting yeah. down my like. Um, I ended up getting rid of the, the grow house because I wanted to go legal. I seen okay. that if if you had a pre existing cannabis business prior to twenty sixteen, you can um you can apply. And then I found out if you got weed charges. You can apply. I got both of them. You know what I mean? Check, check. So I, they threw me in phase two. Ended up getting my license, and I, I I applied for cultivation and distribution and got both of them. Nice, bro. And so I oh, I was yeah. I was set on just growing okay. in the beginning. I didn't think about distro. You know you know what I mean? Through some pe through some people uh that I met through through Mike man like that I was. This is beautiful. Thanks, pal. You gotta teach me how to do this part, like properly, I got you. I got properly. You. Please, I got you. bro. I got you. Before I leave, yeah, before yeah, I leave, keep show me that, you. bro. What's up, familia? Yo, check this out. I gotta take a second to shout out my sponsor, the Gotti brand. Thank you so much for the sponsorship. Here's where you can find the fire in California. The Gotti brand can be purchased at Cookies, Cookies Maywood, Cookies Woodland Hills, Cookies Sacramento, Lemonade Sacramento, Lemonade South Sac, Main Stage Sac, and Davis. Zen Garden Wellness down in SoCal, you can get a lemonade Van Nuys. So, thanks again. See y'all back on the show. So you just spin it. You can do it if you don't have one of these. You can just do it with your fingers. You kind of just use your your nail. Yeah, I normally use my finger. You know what I'm saying? And then you just kind of pinch it around the edge. They call it a French twist or some shit. Or if you got one of these bad boys, you can kind of just just do the little how you doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fucking classy. Bottom. It's called a French what? French twist or French some shit. Twist, French something. Man. French twist. That, that little at the end, you know what I mean? It's called uh-huh. a French twist, I think. Rollers, don't fucking smoke me if I got that wrong. This is a bad man. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. I'm blapped, I'm blapped so I got to give me I'm a second. I'm about fucked you up, bro. Continue, continue. Oh, you didn't even like the lemon cherry gelato. Oh, uh, no, I didn't what like it. What did you like about it, bro? You're not a candy guy? I wasn't a candy. I was a peanut butter dude. Oh, there you go. You like gas. You I like gas. gas. So, like, Come on, man. I like we gas. We all love gas. You know what I mean? All the old heads. But I, I didn't really like OG that much. Like, okay. I, I ain't like peanut OG. Peanut butter's a different gas. Show. Peanut butter's a different gas. It was my. It was still one of my favorite buzz. But, you know, I didn't like it that much. But at the end of the day, man, the way they blew that shit out, the way they blew it up, the way they, they literally, man, they, they, did, changed, they changed the game. So this, the Palermo is a peanut butter breath. So that's peanut butter breath times sherbet times 41. And I like it because it's the the, this, the the breath is not that overbearing where it takes over everything. I wish it would. See, me, I wish it was more breath. You yeah, you do. I mean? you this do. Look, this, look, this, looks like, this looks like Mendo breath. You know what I mean? A straight Mendo yeah. breath pheno. The way it fucking grows hella, like, vertical. But look how nice that Bro. is, dude. This is crazy. Shout out to the homies at Blueprint. Shout out Crush that brush. They about literally they about literally about to QC this it. shit. Yeah. Fire. This is fire. You yeah, can bro. you know this shit is heavy. Oh yeah. You know oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah, this. Yeah. Today's gonna be rough. 
Yeah, like, dog. QC days are always rough. I, like, <laughs> I don't even get super high like that no more. This shit be having me, like. I know, bro. I'm a fighter, man. I, mean? I fight through the shit, man. It's I, like, I don't. I, I smoke heavy weed all the time, bro. I smoke, but, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's tough, Sometimes that shit. job ain't easy, man. Me it looks hot. like we just having fucking fun smoking weed. We are yeah. working. We are man. working, bro. We are working. We're we working. We're, we're, we're practicing patience. Yeah, man. Patience, bro. You know, you ever, like, notice how, like, like, you'd be super high strung, you know what I mean? And then smoking, you'd be like, I feel like an asshole. Yeah, why'd I say that? Why'd I say that shit, man? I ain't even had to do all that. Hey, you babe, know what I'm I mean? Sorry, man. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Then, then you like an asshole. <laughs> 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 now you fucking apologizing for yeah, the shit. Man. So, like, yeah, I, I prefer to be in a higher mode. I like that. Practicing you know? patience. Yeah. I'm not getting high, man. I'm practicing patience. Practicing patience, bro. Because if this wasn't around, bro, I'd be out here tripping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, shit. But yeah, man. Yeah, the man. What I'm trying to say at the end of the day is like, like the milestones. Like back when they was happening, you know, I was I was juiced about meeting these people and, yeah. and work and just working with them and shit like that. But like, like the magnitude, everyone has grown. Like and how everyone is, everyone just from back then, like that I ran into or rubbed shoulders with. Like dog is like a my like a like a what do you call him? Like, celebrity, a weed celebrity. Damn I don't even want to say that, but one of the pillars within this within this weed game. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. Within like for sure, especially like, of this era. Of this era, like those people you just mentioned, backpack boys, yeah. dubs, like they're yeah. huge, man. They're huge. Yeah, like actually, wants coming to the show next week, man. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. That's excited, a good dude. Man. That's a good dude. I'm really excited, man. You know, so um. That's that's yeah, but I, I feel what you saying, bro. Like yeah, like, you guys I, all came up together too, man. It's dope. Like and it's crazy because then I'm doing my thing down there. I'm focused on cultivation, so I I, I, uh, I sit on the building for like nine months, um, Ooh. paying hella rent. Get a building back. The the state hit me said you licensed, so now I gotta go back get the building again. Oh. Give them another deposit. You know what I'm saying? Give them another deposit. Give them to the kick kick oh. the people that's in there already growing out. You know what I mean, and wow. so during that time, they wasn't oh going. God. They wasn't going for it because I tripped so hard to get my fucking security deposit back the first time. Cause I'm like, I ain't get licensed. Like at least give me my shit back. Yeah. Now you know people paying up to twenty grand just rent for the yep. warehouses. Yep. So I mean, even more, like a twenty, 20 was just a number I threw up there. But like I'm saying, that's how like that's probably on average twenty. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So I'm re I'm leasing my space out to another distro that's up here in Oakland. Okay. So they come down and they work out of my space and shit like that while I'm sitting over trying to build the money up. I just I just jumped over some shit hella much. But um so bring it back, bring it back. So so uh I end up getting the building back, get licensed, and that's when I bring the the, the I don't have a plan like exactly cuz I I'm really tapped out of bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um I end up bringing you know, a distro in, they're doing their thing, they paying me rent. Um, I'm also like trying to find out a way cause I don't, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Right. You know what I mean? And um, one day uh, Frank hit me up and uh, Dubs, he hit me up and was like, hey, you got a distro down there, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I got a distro. You know, and, he, and cause I had like presented this to like Juan, Frank, like, hey, I'm about to go in on the, I'm about to go in on the building. like. You know, I may need a partner and shit like that. Like, I would like presented this to a lot of people because sure. I didn't have a bread at the time. I was willing to get a partner. Okay. And so, um, um, everybody was going kind of their own way. And when Frank called me and was like, hey, I need um, Distro for himself and the Goonies. Um, and he, uh, I said, hell yeah, even though I didn't know shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I had, like, I just, I ain't no metric. I ain't no. I, bro, I don't come from like a corporate back. I like the jobs I've had have all been like, you know, pizza, Burger King, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Pizza, the Burger jobs. King, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? GameStop, like, sure. at the mall, you know, I ain't retail, never, retail. I ain't never worked in no real co like corporation, corporation, or, or back work. end of any of those companies. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I don't know what I don't know what time time off and uh, all that shit that now I give my workers. Cause I don't even deal with that shit. And when my when my employees ask me like about some shit, I'll be like, 
Go ask my mom, because I don't know shit. I ain't never got overtime in my life. I don't know what the fuck that is, bro. I don't know what PTO is. Like, I don't know the days, how many days a year people supposed to have off and yeah, shit. Now I'm yeah. getting yeah, familiar, because yeah. I ain't never took a fucking day off. Right. You know right, what right. I'm saying? But, um, <laughs> but. You figured it the fuck out, bro. Figured it out. That's the beautiful thing, man. No, like, they, he hit me up and shit. So I'm like, shit, we start. Uh, we start doing our thing and we all collaborate together. So when you seen the horchata and the Oreos and shit come yeah. out in 2020, then um, I was uh, that was a three way collab between myself, Dubs, and the Goonies. Okay, and, um, I did see that. Yeah, the jars of horchata, the Oreos. Then here come the um, Gelato Plus. Um, I remember that? Yep. And these were going. These were moving pretty well. They had shops in LA that wanted the product, mm -hmm. but they didn't have distro in LA. Gotcha. But I have one. So I end up um, meeting um, the Goonies. Um, and we ended up hitting it off hella well. Nice. You know what I mean? We all working together very well, and everybody's doing their thing, keeping their brand popping. Mm -hmm. One thing led to another. Um, then I fuck around and meet goddamn. You got any questions? Because I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. about to no, flip no, no, to a no. whole nother chapter. No, you're good, because I know, cause I know where you're going with the story. Because while you're telling me this story, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, yup, that's when them bags came out. And I was just about to ask you, didn't you bring on Doja at the time, too? Cause that, so, I was going to go there. Yeah. So, um, how the fuck did I meet High Tech, dog? I don't, I don't remember how we met, bro. We hit it the fuck off. Um... Cause back then I I ran into high tech. Dude, I do I for the life of me, I cannot remember how I met them guys. But long story short, I ended up destroying for high tech. Okay. They're just doing the SS2, SS1. And they yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. facility. One of those was dope. I tried to S one of those. SS one, I think. Or SS two. It was the one that was real skittlesy. Yeah. Real skittlesy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um ended up meeting them. They ended up introducing me to um, uh, Doja, which ended up, gotcha. um, you know, ended up in, as well as Wizard Trees, and I started destroying them. Yep. Me and uh, I remember this. I started destroying for Sprinkles. Um, shit, bro, it's so crazy because like I have to have like I don't remember really how we met. I forgot, but it was just so much in between. Yeah, that happened in between, and then having to like as a distro worrying about making sure that their products moving, and that their numbers is right, my numbers is right. Like, I last, I'm just trying to do right by by them. You know what, what I mean? Oh, you guys so, getting to the, for the clubs? How, how much are you guys selling to the club? Thirty. Then? It's all been thirty. Nice. Oh, it's still today. Still today. Thirty. It's Good 30. for you, man. Yeah, that's like, great. With a lot of effort goes into the shit, you know. And then yeah. when I'm working with Doja, that's when I meet uh, Drew and everybody else. Like it just gotcha. cause like. I didn't have drivers at the time. I was the driver. Yeah, you damn right you were. I was the driver. Yeah, so bro. to go pick that weed up, uh, it's me. To go goddamn, um, to go do the deliveries at every shop and meet the bud tenders, that was me. That's why, like, I, uh, my relationships with a lot of the shops that I that I have, or at least the core, the core ones that I was dealing with from the beginning, they know me. They know I like, bro. I've been like, I will pull up to this bitch with my MacBook, ready to do a matter, to make any corrections that need to be made. Like yep. I'm pulling up, like they know that's me. That's dope. So bro. like that's a they, great way they, to start. That's a great way to start. Yeah. I put in the full work because we, um, when orders start kicking up and I'm doing like, doing them every week. You know what I mean? I'm doing them every fucking week. And um, I go on Thursday, go hit, have all the manifests done, all the invoices done, all the tags ready. Um, packaged up in fucking some, uh, the, back then I, we was doing we was doing jars bro for some shit and that was fucking terrible but um it's very spacious spacious jars but then we switched to mylars and saw um get everything together leave out early at like five o'clock on 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 thursday morning go hit uh the go hit the ie um san diego orange county whatever coming up and go back to the warehouse um, get all the NorCal deliveries. Uh, I'll take that back. LA included, cause I used to include LA in that on that okay. Thursday run. And then Thursday I'll pack up all my shit and I'll leave out at like three, four in the morning to go up north and go handle all my deliveries up there. And then if Damn. I didn't if I didn't finish on time, 
or like if I was too tired, I'll go stay at the homie uh the, the homie dub spot. Shout out Wally, man. Make sure y'all go eat at Goodfellas Pizzeria over there in San Francisco by Pier 39, baby. So, uh, um, Goodfellas Pizza. Goodfellas Pizza, man. That uh, so I used to go over there, park my fucking car. So I, I had a van during this time, but I started off in rental cars. Right. So uh, I started off in rental cars, going hard, you know, uh, Dodge Caravans. So. Oh yeah. Shit, man. Love that, bro. Just fucking banging out. Yo, you know what's ill about that? How you did that, bro? Number one, you learned you learned the infrastructure of your business, right? Yeah. You learn what, what you about to tell people to do so you know how to do it, how it's done, how long it takes to do it. Number two, you're meeting all the bud tenders, all the buyers. Or So now when you got your own issue, boom, you're dropping off orders, but you can get re reorders, shit like that. Yeah. You got your manifest on you. You got the... the the MacBook with the manifest, you can fix shit. You, you, you're you wearing all the hats, my guy. You're wearing all the hats. You know what I mean? And that's what you got to do. Yo, look, y'all want to start a brand, you want to start a company, this is the shit you got to do. Period. Period. No, And nobody's going to outwork the owner. Exactly. And, and then and then your people see how hard you're working, so now you set the standard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They know what time it is. They know what you expect. You know what I'm saying? So I peeped it, all that shit, bro. Pull, you can't pull no wool over my eyes when it yeah. comes down to this business. Yeah, man. Because I know, I know how long it takes. I know how long it take. I know where you going. I know what time what time to hit certain spots so you don't get biffed, so you don't get robbed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That I know too. it like you got to make times. Like I'm I'm tra like I'm what is it called? Tracking myself like yeah. my time every time I do it. I'm trying oh, to get no the shit. fuck back. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And so and I can't lose these people's money. I lost money one time when the uh, police pulled me over in Fresno coming up the fucking five. No shit. Took took all my all my cultivators money. Took all my money. Um, what? Took my took my laptop. I had my badge on all that shit. The only thing that was wrong is that my manifest. I didn't change the date. It was supposed to go out two days prior to, but it was a delivery that um it was a delivery that didn't get done because by the time I got driver, so my dri uh, my driver didn't get to that delivery. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll go take it and I'll return this money to the cultivator, get sure. it, get this invoice paid, shit like oh, that. Oh man, they tripped they, over they, the date, bro. Man, that man, that man was on my ass, dude. He was on my ass, and then took all my shit, and um, I ended up getting that bread back though. But they I was took they took like that. thirty out of it. They took thirty. Oh yeah, man, they they always gonna take some. Oh, they always gonna come take on. Some. What, what did it say on that pay? I was like, man, but that ain't the first time I had bread took. Yeah. And been sent some shit, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just sure. got to be on it. But you can get it back. Like, yeah. I got my shit back in a check. In a fucking check. They gave me my shit back. It's actually they... nice when you get it back in a check. Yeah, I you was like, thank saying? you, bitch. <laughs> 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 well, wash that one for me, folks. Thank you. Thank you, boys in blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's dope, man. Oh, man. Yo, how did you come up with the name Ted's Buds anyway? I know that's your my, name's Ted, but... That's my grandpa name. Oh, okay. So anytime I okay. start a business or something... Whether the motherfucker works or not, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to name it after somebody in tribute. Or oh, that's cool, You know man. what I'm saying? I dig that. So dig Tez that. Buzz, and, and um, yeah, that's 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 what we ended up running with. I thought it just run. So it, the the unique thing about it is that, because, you know, I'm named, I'm named after him, yeah. but it's a possessive name. So when it, I, I can't, I can't have people out here Talking crazy, like a, I can't be putting out subpar product, having people saying this shit is weak. Like, yeah. bro, it, I, I'll take it personally, like, cause that's Ted, like, nigga, that's us. You that's know what it, I'm saying? Yeah, that's my. It buzz, ain't called bro. Pro Logistics or some shit where yeah. like, the name has no type of <laughs> yeah. sentimental, like, no doubt, s sentiment to it or whatever. So, you know, I try. I, maybe that makes me go a little bit harder, like knowing that you got Grandfather Paul's name on there, bro. Like, mm -hmm. come on now, you can't let him down. You know what I'm saying? And I feel that, bro. Like, I, I named uh, one of my first strains I dropped in the rec market was Fugazi and Uncle Artie. And Uncle Artie was a deceased uncle of mine, real cool, old school cat from Brooklyn from that old era. Yeah. You know what I mean? You couldn't shine his shoes, bro. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Like, he was, he was that guy, man. Always had something cool to say, always had something slick to say. Always. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? He was just that great guy to be around, man. I loved him dearly. And, uh, you know, I was just, I don't know, we were throwing some names around and that, and that kind of came up. and. And I was like, yeah, you know what, we're going to bring Uncle Artie. So I called my cousin Bobby, his son, my older cousin. I got the blessing from him. Yo, you yeah. mind if I use Pop's name? Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, and I that, sent, that I fucking sent, accent, you know man. I, mean? I had to send him a little care package, a little Uncle Artie, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, bro. It was cool, that, man. So I, mean, I did that. that. It's, I did that. That's the, that's the, that's the Keep best. Keep the name alive, bro. 
Hell yeah. The name alive forever, man. Mm-hmm. Once I seen him, like, he's from Brooklyn. Once I seen them Uncle Artie's in Brooklyn, I was just like, yeah, he made it home. Yeah, on You'd my be proud. Hell yeah, you like on, on, <laughs> like like my pop is my logo. Goddamn. Really? Yeah, he my no logo. Shit, he's man. The, uh, the Hawaiian Jelly Rolls, Zuckers, Cronuts, White Cronuts. I put them on hella bags. Nice. You bro. know what I'm saying? Do you draw all that stuff? Do you have so, an artist? So that that image I did not draw. That was a gifted drawing from uh, one of my former nice. employees. And so she made me a sweater and gave me the, the oh, PNG cool. and all the, the file and shit. No doubt. Um, but, uh, yes, I do draw. Okay. I draw everybody. That's tight. Uh, you know, like, That's if you tight. can't, like. I love that as like, a. if you had goddamn, I'll draw you I love quick. that, bro. Love yeah. that. It, it's, it's dope because you always, like, as an artist, right, every fucking artist, I don't care what, what you do, you always want to get paid off your artwork, man, because you put a lot into it and you think it's dope. You drew it. You know yeah. what I mean? You hope somebody else would enjoy it. It's fucking hard to do. My mother Bruh. was a struggling artist growing up. Come you know on, I mean? and now we get to put our art on our bags and shit. We gonna sell we that have fun with it. Right. You yeah, know what bro. I mean? It, 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 it's, yeah, it's, the, it's the best, bro. Like I, yeah, I literally have cool. fun with it because I'm that's I'm cool. literally I draw people all day at work or spray paint them. I got a wall in the warehouse to where I just paint on it. Yeah, I just fucking tag on it. I just do murals and shit. So like. Oh, I'll do something fire. and I'll cover it up hella quick. That's like, fire, bro. I just keep going. The, the layer of like paint on that shit is probably so thick. Yeah. You know, so. That's fire. But that, that sentimental shit, it just make you go a little harder, man. It does. And, um, it does. Shit, I'll fuck with it, man. You know, it's working out for me. I'll have to hit you up um, and have you come back up, bro. I'm thinking about hitting this wall with some cool paint markers. You know what I mean? A couple, couple guys I got in mind. You know, what I I'm normally saying? got, I normally got them on me. All I got is streakers on me right now. No, you're cool, bro. Yeah. I haven't officially made the decision yet. I'm working this out with my, with my cameraman. If you do, shout out to Ruben. If you do the markers with the drips, bro, like that's like, what I'm saying. Markers with the drips or, 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 that's or dri- fire. drippers on it. That that's be, what I want. That'd be hard. Markers on with this drips, wall. yeah. That'd be hard. I'm thinking me, you, straight flame, uh, and like you know, I'll probably scoop up somebody else. Somebody I'm missing. But uh, yeah, I want some homies come in and just we'll fuck, fuck it up. Bitch you know up. I mean, just just this uh, just this wall, bro. Yeah. This is missing something, man. You know it, what I'm it, saying? It, it, I ain't gonna say it's missing. It's missing. It could use something. But it could use. It could use something. I think that I think the tags would be nice. It'd be perfect. It'd, It'd be, be nice mean. Touch. People would get it instantly. It, oh yeah, what's fuck you was waiting for? Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying. It's smooth. Did you want to hit this one? No, no. Go ahead. Do Sorry, I've been girl. rude. No, no, no. I'm no. facing them back to back. You know what I'm saying? That's for you. I'm gonna start smoking in a little minute. You just know. trying to keep my head on my shoulders, get you through your story, you know what I mean? For sure, goddamn. So, you know what You can't what I'm be both high as hell right now. No, this is a kidding. fucking long story. I, I apologize. No, it's great. Folks. No, no, that's what, you, that's what we're here for, man. Don't apologize, man. Don't apologize for your greatness. Um, So so now, Tez Buzz is rocking. I'm seeing you everywhere. Um, shout out to Zen, Zen Wellness. Um, I'm always smoking that shit over there. Uh, they're promoting you heavy. I see you everywhere. Wild flavors, dope packaging. Uh, what's what's up? What's up next? You got any flavors in the works? Anything we can Hella expect? flavors. Yeah, Hella cool, flavors cool, from um. But what, what we got on ge- the horizon? Genetic genetics from Yee's Farms. I went crazy on a um, like seed hunt, and then like I told you, I was over at Archive too, and um, just pop, just popping seeds, growing mothers, testing phenos. So that's what's coming up. So you probably won't see that aspect of it in a while, but it takes time. Yeah, but right now, um, the cultivators that I work closely with, man, they're they're constantly, um, constantly dropping new shit. No doubt, you know they're always running new shit. The list is so long; sometimes it's hard to keep up with. No doubt, no you doubt. You know, and um, they're trying to like steer off or veer off from uh, doing so many candies. They're gonna kind of start switching it up. No and I'm doubt. hoping these, I'm hoping these cold snaps from um, from Wyeth Farms, all these cold snaps crosses are like the the future because okay. I know he does good work and I just don't hear his name enough out here so no I, I want to shout out Wise Farm shout out Jeff shout out man yeah. let's get him on the show yeah Jeff let's go yeah. cuz I've been hearing that name for a minute mm-hmm. I've been hearing that name for a minute and, and I've been I've been curious about him he, um, I think he's I think he's the man behind the scenes man no doubt you know what I'm saying what um what, how many strains do you typically keep in the lineup uh, is there a uh, magic every, number? Or? Every week, there's about 15 strains um, that are available to shops. Damn, nice. So um, it's a good spread, my friend. It's a good spread. Yeah. but it's it's split it's split between between a number of different brands. Okay, so, gotcha. You gotcha. know what I mean? Like not like I may drop 
Like, I think if the menu this week was fucking, I had like seven strains on there. Okay. You know what I mean? But everyone has, you know, their shit that they drop and the people that I fuck with tough or that have been there with me since the jump. Um, I just make sure that uh, everyone's shit is gone. I just want to do my job, like, right. Yeah. I don't want to get enough. People got enough reasons, to, like, reasons they think in their head not to fuck with me, but I just want to show people just through numbers, through work ethic, like, bro, you know, it ain't gonna get get much better than it. It ain't gonna get better than this. Yeah. We're like, bro, because I actually give a fuck about your shit. I yeah. want to make sure that your shit sell. And you guys selling through the stores, I'm, everything I'm gonna, going I'm, good? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send my buddy, my, my, my buddy Sam, shout out Sam, out there to go fucking do butt tender trainings, to do PADs, to do follow-ups. I have Aquila do, I have Aquila tapping in with new shops in different regions that we are not heavy in, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I make sure that, like, we are like a well-oiled machine. We we move like a fucking FedEx. So, like, and we nice. all get along. Like I said, it's all my family good, and, cl- and close people. Nice, bro. So. Love that. Yeah, we, all that shit that need to be done, all that follow up and follow through and make sure the shop's not sitting on your product and you don't want a consumer to come into a shop and still see your shit up there. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like and be and now you got an old pack packaging date on there. The shit is looking bad. Somebody now you like in order to remediate that, then we we do what we do and work out something with the shop to where we make sure that they can do what they gotta do to make sure it moves. Um, we don't want our shit on the shelves long. Yeah. You know? And thank God, unfortunately, um, due to our marketing and how how we genuinely fuck with people, um, it doesn't sit on the shelves long. Good. You know? And if a, a brand that I'm destroying for is not moving um, fast enough or it is starting to stagnate, it's stagnate on sales, then we collab. And then that way, all right, you might have pulled your, pull a flower from your facility, but let me go pull some from one of mine. You know what I mean? And you know, and let me do the design on it. You know, shout out Jackie. I sit, I, I sit up and work with Jackie, and we, and and, and shout out Brian. Um, I work with both of them to make sure that the sketches are damn near assembly lined out. Okay. All the time, designs are. Uh, I'll sketch it out on the board, send it to Brian. Boom, he does his thing. Boom, sends it Jackie. Color, boom, at the final touches. Boom. Damn. Man. You know what I mean? Then. Phew, kick that out what a team man you know what i'm saying so where i'm at or what i'm showing y'all right now is like i'm so far ahead of it and no was you have no idea what's like coming in like 2020 fucking four and shit like that like it's so much shit that's bubbling right now and i'm keeping my composure you know what i mean yeah so i'm very i'm very grateful very happy and i thank the consumers for fucking with us but i think they they feel the same way. Thank they thank me for making sure that everything that we sell is top notch. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit up and say that everything that we dropped was, um, everything that we dropped was, uh, all bangers. Like, like we do a, a poll in the house. We all smoke that shit. Yeah, I might. I most time I don't like that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm very very critical. Yeah, but the women are smoking. Get a take on it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, the uh, the wares are small. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's gonna try and get a opinion. Yeah. So I may be out rule. Okay, is, how do you, yeah, how do you guys, uh, that's a good question. How do you guys QC? What's the process? You know, what's the powwow look like? And who gives the final say so? Or is it just, you know what I mean? Go walk me through that. It has to go through the first initial check, like, you know, bag appeal, potent, like, bag appeal, uh, bag appeal, you know, like a thorough inspection, just a breakdown before smoking, just to make sure there's no, you know, bud rod or fucking mold and shit like yep. that. Um, Got to be busting on the smell, you know, and then we burn it. We do the ash test, potency test yep. together. Yep. If it doesn't make it past the, just the initial inspection, then no, nah, it's not even considered to, to be smoked got by you, the panel. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so you guys pass it through your, your QC and then you bring it to the team. And then you do a team, get see what the team thinks, and then just voted yay or nay. Yeah, that's I was, tight. Yeah, I, I like, like when everybody smoke it. You know, that's good. Cause a lot Cause of times so. people like <laughs> different shit. So. It ain't like hey, what, if you like it, we love it. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so, it ain't always what you like; it's what they like. Exactly. You know, I I can't expect to please everybody, but there's yeah. something out there for you. If you can't find it by now, after like fucking two hundred strains 
dropped in the market. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, player. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break. What's up, guys? Just want to take a quick second to shout out my sponsors over at Grove Bags. Listen, Grove Bags are hands down the best way to store your cannabis. Forget jars, forget mylars. Nobody does it like Grove Bags. Listen, it's a six-layer, non-static bag. State-of-the-art technology. It's going to keep your weed fresher for longer. It keeps your cannabis between 58 and 62% humidity at all times. The optimal humidity to store cannabis. It's going to increase your shelf life, help prevent mold, weight reduction. Hands down, it's the best product out there. We don't use anything but Grove Bags at Good Pizza. And especially if your product is in stores, we all know there's some shelf life issues at the stores. This is going to keep your product lasting longer on those shelves. So when your customer goes to try it, it's going to be fresh cannabis. Listen, if you want to store your cannabis the proper way, use Grove Bags. Use promo code PIZZA with three Z's. That's P-I-Z-Z-Z-A. Tell them Good Pizza sent you. So, yo, tell me, uh, tell me, how, what, what's because you guys are on some different shit, man. What do you, what do you feel to s- separates Ted's Buds from the rest, man? How do y'all do it different from the rest, bro? We just having fun, bro. Like we're, It fucking shows, man. We just having fun, bro. Like, yeah. Anyway, like, bro, we got fun. Like, we... We reenact scenes from movies, like we just yeah. we just doing goofy shit. Like we all grew up yeah, watching bro. Dave Chappelle show. We you know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? All Hell the yeah. Wayne's brother movies and shit. This so, is all making sense now, bro. So like Adam Sandler movies, we just we literally just having fun. That's great, man. And we enjoy doing what we do and uh grateful to be doing it who we're doing it with. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we don't care how we look. I at least I don't I never gave a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like, would somebody really like think of me like that? I mean, yeah. my, you know, as a human being, you might think like, oh yeah, like, you know, we all like kind of give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But like, I don't mind putting myself out there. I always have. I've always been willing to take a risk. Yeah. I, I like that's just me. That's yeah. just me. So, um, I'm just trying to incorporate anything and everything that I can. And so the marketing has just got to be hard. Just hard. Oh, yeah. like you might see a goddamn a YouTube series come out, or you might see a goddamn a Tubi movie. You well, know what I mean? You should. Yeah, no, you, content's king, bro. I said, I, I told myself after the after after the weed is done, I ain't even gonna say done, but after like I'm cool with the weed, I'm going straight to the acting. Good 50, for you. Fifty, put me in the show. Put me on BMF. Them niggas can't act, man. Get at your boy, bro. Come on, I'll man. Really, Talk to him. I'll really play Lamar. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll kill it. So, <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. So when it come down to after that, then I'm going to go back to school and finish biology. Okay. I got a fucking plan. Good you know you, what man. I mean? Like, I got a plan. It's good, bro. What, I, what I'm doing, so. Well, when you can be yourself, have fun with it, it just makes it so much more inclusive for everybody because everybody wants to. So nobody's tired of saying, everybody's tired of the same old shit. So when you bring in something new to the game, it's like a breath of fresh air, and you having fun with it. So pe- and that's organic, bro. People peep that shit. Like you guys yeah. look like you're having fun. I get a good chuckle out of a lot of your videos and, yeah. and the marketing and shit. When you do, when you about to do a drop, you'll be like, da da da, we about to drop this on a bitch, yeah. Wow, and just fucking slam it on the table. I'm like, I like this guy. Yeah, you know, he just, fucking stands behind his product. Straight up, you know. Hey, and shout out Black Market Vikings, man. Oh, they're them, great, them bro. Do, shout out to yeah, them, like bro, straight for up, real. bro. Homie with the fucking mullet, he kills me, yeah, son. Yeah, bro, he's Yo, hilarious, he's illest, bro. bro. Like, their uh, skits are fire. For sure, for sure was watch, for sure was watching they shit. Like, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, bro. Like, so I cannot, I cannot. They they've been doing this shit. They've yeah, been yeah, making yeah. funny ass skits. No doubt, police pulling people over yes, on the hill and yes, shit. Like, yes, they the, should be on point. So, yo, they're for sure the spokesmen of the hill. So we doing shit. We doing everything. Like everything Good. is like, ugh. Like, ugh, I don't know. That's cool, man. It I seemed it. it seemed like everything. I'm just grateful, dude. I'm grateful. Because it seemed like everything that I do or that we collectively come up with in the warehouse, it just ping. It, it works. You know what I mean? That's cool, man. It ping, it it works. It's working for us. We enjoy it. We enjoy doing it. You know what I'm saying? So like it only feels right. We only doing what's right. I'm not thinking about the numbers like that. Mm-hmm. I got I have to. My accountant reminds me. You know what I'm saying, yeah. but like no, I'm, I'm, fo- I know from just my background already from hustling and doing shit, like, like, I know the numbers. 
The numbers, having fun with it. I know. Oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna take a loss. Okay. The L gonna come. Fuck. Yeah. It. yeah you know what I'm saying? You gotta. Christmas you got. You coming. yeah. You gotta take a L. You gotta take a L, and and just and just keep it pushing. Like and yeah. just learn from that and just keep it going. Like. So you know I'm not worried about, about L's, bro. Money. Not to cut you, man, but I, yeah. I feel like I'm going with what you're saying, right? So my mentor taught me the L's build the person. Mm-hmm. The dubs build your check and your bank account. Come you know on, what I'm your ego. You need them. Yeah. You need them. You know what I'm saying? Go you, you need them L's. I don't take L after L. I don't lost it all, like and got it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And That's um, dope. yeah, my I another part mind. of your net your marketing I've noticed is uh, you spitting. You 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 making songs, yeah? Right. I seen you do a drop for a song, man. You you uh, what's talk talk to me about the music, man? It's just something that kind of came up, like um, okay. I didn't intentionally like. I ain't never have aspirations to be a rapper or none okay. none of that shit, like at all. Um, you used to freestyle I, on the block with the homies type shit. Yeah, or? yeah we, we used to freestyle. Okay, there you we go. To, okay, I'm you know what I'm saying. saying? We, just start rapping. Yeah, bro. like you, you know like what I'm you could ride a beat. Yeah, you know for saying? sure, I could ride a beat. I, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't think to take it serious until they told me, like, you know, I I, I got a good voice, um, and I just tried it out, and honestly, it just became like something more therapeutic now. So, yeah. So. I'm no still doubt. I'm still new at it. I've been doing it like a year and a half. Okay. You know that's what I mean? It. That's, the, that's it. As long as you've been recording a year yeah. and a half. It's, it's different recording, right? Yeah. And just so spitting. Now I got the setup. Like I'm you got bars and shit, you gotta count. I got the setup at the warehouse. So Oh yeah? I'm just nice. sitting on I'm just recording. Like I go in there. I I don't even go home. I sleep at I sleep at work. Like I don't go home. I'm about to give up my apartment and oh, shit. build a one bedroom you, in my warehouse to live. <sighs> that sounds like the dream for me. I just, I'm wifed up, got kids and shit. I gotta go home, bro. I gotta do it now before I get you before I get on that. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Let me talk to you from the future, my friend. Please do it now, bro. Do it fucking now. You ain't got no lady or kids, or you can do it with a lady, but uh, with the, you don't have kids. I ain't got no kids. Oh yeah, run it up, bro. <laughs> run it up, man. Good so, God. So I'm That's I'm great, man. I'm doing it all now. So when I get to the chapter, of, um. Uh, at the end of my acting career, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Going to school, that's when th- th- you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna that's go cool. and sit down. You know what I'm saying. Man with a plan, folks. I like it. I like because right now it's just too hectic. We doing shows. I'm linked. I'm linked up with my partner RXK, and ain't nobody cool. We did shows and goddamn, they 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 let me open up for him. You oh, know what shit. I mean. And Neff got a and got the number one song on TikTok, Critical. Whoa. So you know what I'm saying, that's like tight, bro. Neff is a you're opening up for people and shit, I'm opening shows. Up. That's fucking cool, man. Opening up, so I'm just hell yeah. Like I, I don't give a fuck if don't nobody bro, like this shit. It's great promotion, bro. Come on, man. You got your own channel, man. You, when, you got a meeting out of your fucking hand, bro. You tell them everything. You got a channel. You tell them whatever you want. When I seen a, I don't know what company was that that was about to pay Lil Durk a half a million, a half a million dollars to promote him. Wow. It was a company that was about to pay Lil Durk that. I said, oh hell no. I was like, dog, the, uh, no shit. I could do that. That, yeah. is, uh, I, that shit kicked in my mind. I said, nigga, mm. I could do that. You know, you see all them like pages and shit that be having uh, having uh, rappers and shit say, hey, go fuck with the such and such club, Pax Club, whatever the fuck. They yeah. they got they got it. Did a 10 second video of Nick saying it. They just paid that man 15 grand. Yeah. Man, pay me that 15 grand. You Matter know? of fact, fuck your 15 grand, nigga. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same shit with my own shit and spike myself up even more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I turn myself into that person because like, I could ride a beat. Like, I talk some shit. The only way, if a motherfucker don't like it, it's because you don't know what I'm talking about. It's, yeah. it's going over your head. Yeah, so yeah. Go ahead, go ahead and sit it down, my my boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't down, make, my boy. I, don't, I don't make bop music and shit like yeah. that. I ain't, I ain't trying to make some shit. I'm talking. Nigga, this shit is for the road. If you on that yeah. road, yeah, yeah. you doing them, you doing them twenty hour drives. You doing them goddamn them turnarounds, trying to make it back home. Yeah, trying to stay awake, and you know what I'm saying? Nigga, it has something to burn to. That's me. And then yeah. if you can't relate to it, then I'm sorry. You just was not in the mix, bro. If yeah, that don't make yeah, you yeah. a square, that don't make you a clown from out of town. It's just you. Yeah. It's just not you. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't outside like we was outside. That's I all. I guess not. You hopped off the porch late or never hopped off the porch at all? You know all? what I'm saying? These stoop kids. You know? Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny as fuck, bro. Yo, what uh, what kind of advice would you have for um for anybody in your position out there, man? Keep fucking going. 
Don't stop. Simple as that. That's always the best advice. I know this when I ask people advice, life advice. It's just the simple shit, bro. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Uh, I couldn't tell you that Tez Buzz was gonna be this. Like this shit fell in place. Yeah, it did. Man, I, another part about it, you gotta be fucking genuine, dude. If you you just not a genuine person, you're not humble, dog. And you, you letting that bread go to your head or whatever. Yeah. And you feel like mm-hmm. you above the people, or you don't show enough love to the people, man. You're not gonna win. Yeah. They make or break your. They make or break your shit. You know what I'm saying? All the culture vultures out there. The ones that you know what I mean might get might hire a person of color to be the face of your shit or make or or establish connections for you that you think you may not be able to get. Yeah. Like man, dude, sit the fuck back, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this, I ain't got no, I ain't got no partners. Except I, I really consider everybody in my fucking warehouse to be my partners because I I I gladly break bread with them. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. all I'm saying is that, like I like, I represent the culture. We out there hitting walls, goddamn. We rapping, and we done did, and Love we done it. did and seen a lot of shit. So a lot of people relate to us. The common people relate to us, not the elites. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So and they, and a lot of people scratching their heads, heads and wondering like, why is this shit working for him? Give a motherfucker a hug, bro. Yeah. Give somebody a hug, bro. Show them that you give a fuck that they buying your shit, or or, or listen listen to somebody's story, bro. You don't know how how that may how that may affect or um, result. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make that person that go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Be approachable, man. Be approachable. Yeah. Like, bro. Like, I bought a chain because my cameraman told me to buy a chain. I wasn't into that shit. Yeah. You might see me in one of them classic whips though. You feel me? Yeah, man. And you you are very approachable, man. When I met you, bro, we probably chopped it up for like thirty minutes about the Sopranos, bro. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is my guy. You this know my what I'm guy, saying? guy. He gets me. Yeah, he's a, he's a Sopranos guy. He's good. I love I'm that. No, nah, it's good, bro. It shows, bro. It really does show, man. That's fucking dope. If you ain't take nothing, man, for what I said, man, give somebody a hug. Yeah. Give them, give them five minutes of your time. Man, it ain't all about dollars and cents, bro. You might really, you might really change somebody's day or save somebody's life. You don't know. Don't, don't judge nobody, bro. Like yeah. that. That's my man. I ain't judging nobody. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck where you come from, you know what I mean? Or what That's your dope. lifestyle is like, bro. When my grandma ain't raised us, that door ain't never was locked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't give a fuck, that door was never locked. So anybody could come over there. Neighbor, everybody in the city came to my grandma's house. I That's used to get awesome. up in the morning, have to go in my grandma's room. Uh, she made me go go get in her bed uh, because everybody grandma and grandpa, or everybody grandma and grandpa are coming over there in the morning. You know what I mean? To drink mm-hmm. coffee. That's cool. How man. my how my sister grandma on her dad's side there, my grandma on my dad's side there. No shit. Our, all her brothers cool, and man. sisters and neighbors, everybody over there drinking coffee, chopping it up. You know what I mean? Six yeah. in the morning. So like, like that's a great. You can give, that's you can, my that's my vibe, bro. Do that shit, man. That's we, my vibe. If you, I'm telling. It helped you, you become a people person too. Being be, like seeing that openness, like sounds like your grandmother just kind of put her arms around the community. She, you know what I'm saying, how she, she got 14 kids, and literally. Four, she you know got saying? 14 kids, That's bro. God bless her, man. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? So, like... And, and she still with us? Nope. And uh, then... God e- rest e- in peace, man. Yeah, even, even my grandpa, like, stepping up to take care of them kids. Yeah, bro. 14. You feel me? Like, that. that's different. That's, that's different. different. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Like, bro, bro. I'm so, like, man, that... I, I got three and I'm pulling my fucking hair out. I couldn't imagine 14. 14. 14. I, 14 labors, bro. Like, come on, after like eight, nine. God bless. Being, like, God bless after soul, four, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. That's good pizza, folks. That's good pizza. That's good pizza. You know what I'm saying? This uh, is, oh, God damn it. That's good pizza, too, my friend. This is fire. Um, what does the next five, ten years look like, bro? What's the what's the plans? What's the master plan, man? What's, what, what's the future look like for Ted's Buzz, man? You know, I want some retail shops. Okay. Going for the dispos. Nice. I want. I don't want to blow my shit up to where it becomes such a saturated brand. Yeah. Um, I like the I like the pocket that we in, but we growing in different ways and in more unique ways. Y'all talk. Y'all think I'm talking like retail? Like it's a different kind of retail. I'm talking about. I'm talking about a members only club. Oh, I like that. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. P Diddy, call me. <laughs> you feel me? I love that, man. So, yo, uh, let me ask you this, bro. What uh, what does the industry what 
What do you know that the industry should know? And what you calling bullshit on out there, bro? What, what, do, what do you see out in the, in the in the industry that's just... It's egos, suckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm a professional sucker ducker. You know what I'm saying? But it's a really? lot of food. Like, it's a lot of food gazy. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of food gazy out there. a lot of food gazy out there. And I think that, um, you know, it's all it's all good. It's all love. I'm competitive, so I speak from a competitive perspective um, when it comes down to the brand race and who's selling. But I don't know. It's just too many egos, bro. Like, it's enough money for everybody. You sure know, it's is. enough money for everybody. Um, we all in this for the common cause, just to, for the love of it, and uh, I guess help feed our family. So that's it, bro. I don't know. No, that's fuck, good. fuck that ego shit. That's the main shit. Sucker ducking is a fucking profession out here, and it's the best diet. Sucker free diet. It's my favorite diet. Yeah, you gotta think about what type of people you even dealing with when it come down to some of this shit. You know what I mean? Of course. Like no no disrespect to any cultivator, especially outdoor cultivators, the real agriculture um, folks. But you know, I ain't even gonna go there, bro. No, we gotta leave it right there. Do you uh, do you have any weird skills or life hacks you care to share with us? A weird skill, just the drawing shit, that's, or what? That's what a else? Skill. What else is weird? I guess you could call it weird because no, no, not many people draw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially to your, at your level, like graffiti and and uh, cartoons and shit, yeah. and, like characters. Yeah, I can make. Cartoons. Don't let me forget. I got my iPad Pro with me. I'm gonna have you hit something real quick on my iPad Pro. I'll draw Pro you hella quick. Yeah, I, and yo, I got, I probably got hundreds of marker sets, bro. It's, you're gonna lose your mind. You, you fuck with the iPad? With free uh, drawings I, I, yet? I, I, no. Procreate? I oh. No, you know what's crazy? I downloaded up, it bro. too. I'm about to fuck your whole head up, man. I, I'll be We're gonna fun. get busy real quick after this. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that shit. Um, how do you like to consume cannabis? Joint guy, blunt guy? What do you like? Joint guy, mostly. Joint guy? Um, sure. I used to smoke hella blunts back to back to back. But um, I got sick of rolling them bitches Same up. Here, bro. And um, I'm, in, I'm, I'm enjoying the joints a lot more. My staff really got me on it. Because it's healthier, bro. Yeah, it's healthier. So taste the terps. Yeah, it tastes the terps. So and we gotta taste terps we, for a living. Yeah, we literally. You know what I'm saying, man, that shit almost kills me every time it's time to like try some new shit. I'm so allergic to weed that ain't even funny. You know what I do? I roll the new one and I roll the for show sure one that I know because most of the time I'm just no, this ain't it. Pew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me enjoy. Let me enjoy this smoke session. So I'm gonna go fucking roll another one, yeah, or mad smoke that one because I didn't roll another. You know what I mean? Yeah, on some bullshit. Yeah, man. I know. I know how that is, man. Do you know how it, bro? We curate our menus, bro, and we QC yeah. everything. That's fucking. You know how much we like? You know how much we we gotta smoke? You know how many people hit me up Shit. asking the distro? And a lot of times I take the meetings because I'm curious to see what people are doing out there. But people bring me some shit, dog, and. It'll be that. It'll be the snickle fritz. You know what I'm saying? It'd be that switcheroo, man. I'm telling you, it'd be fucked oh, up. Oh, then what they sample with you? Like they, they, they like hit you with the. With as the soon as road. I burn it, it's black. It's fucked up. It ain't tasting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this wasn't what I signed up for, man. Man, that, that our our fucking bucket of beans or whatever, the empty can got full of joints. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <This fucking bean. laughs> bro. Yeah, like I know. oh no, nah, put that shit out. Oh, I'm yeah. cool. You oh know? yeah, that's a fact, bro. Some people look at our ashtrays around the office. We got smokers in here. They be like, damn, bro, why them shit so big, man? They ain't, they ain't yeah. laying past, bro. The first thing we say after we smoke, you high? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, you And we high? train fools like, right here. You know what I'm saying? Shout my homie D. She she bougie as hell now, yo. She be Come like, she, she don't even say that. She nice, though. She'll just be like. Not fucking with just it. It's like, yeah, I, we read her face with special. Like, oh, she ain't fucking with it. Hell yeah. Got to, got to, to keep next. it real now, dude. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. It's too much fire out here. Way too much fire. So speaking of fire, now we're going to go to your top three strains of all time, my friend. We're going to go one old school from back in the day, one new, something new you fucking with, and a desert island strain. You stuck on the island. Nobody's coming for Ted's. So you and Wilson. All right. <laughs> all right. First, the first one is a, is a, first one is, what was the first one? Old school, new oh, school. school. No, no particular school. order. No particular order. Something old you fuck with. Favorite strain, peanut butter breath. Okay. I like um, it. Favorite strain, peanut butter breath. 
Um, old school strain. Old school strain. <sighs> old school strain. I'm trying to think. Wood had me in a goddamn chokehold back in the day. Oh, it it was OG. 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 I, I can't even. I can't give it to the. <coughs> I, I was about to say GDP, but for some reason GDP didn't used to have like it, it was good like for like three years and like it was, I think it was like oh nine, oh eight, shit like that. The shit was gas. But then after that, it just got light. So yeah, I'm gonna did. just I'm gonna have to go with that uh that OG. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna with type OG. I'm gonna say Skywalker. Oh, that's my favorite, bro. I'm gonna that's say that Skywalker. Favorite. Like always, always did me did me right, did me too much. So and what was the last one? I'm deserted on an island. Yes, sir. I'm deserted on a fucking island, and I gotta smoke some shit for the rest of my life. Let and, me help you lower your stress levels. It's the best batch of whatever you choose. Always. Best batch, whatever the fuck I choose. It may have to be. Mm, 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 mm. This is tough, bro. I'm sorry. Like, cause in my head, I, in, in my head, I'm I'm fucked up. And you know what's crazy? Mm. You can bring, you could redo any. You can bring peanut butter breath, OG. That like you could double up on your answer, just so you know. And you want to know what most people say what? for the island? What? We got a battle going on right now for OG and Skittles for the island. <laughs> That's it, bro. That Skittles will make you go crazy. The most uh, answered questions. Nah, I ain't. Them ain't even in my fucking categories. Like I'm debating between <laughs> meat breath, um, between meat breath, uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, duck sauce. Meat breath, duck sauce, and goddamn dino duck. I don't if know. If you had to pick one, sir, what do you bring? Uh, I think I'm going to take. I'm going to take the duck sauce. Duck sauce, duck sauce for the island, folks. What is duck sauce? If that's undisclosed, we can leave it undisclosed. It said it on Just the bag. Just tell me after the show. Oh, it said on the bag? Platinum Skittles and, Platinum Skittles and uh, G41. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Balls you move, but great packaging, balls you move with the clear packaging. You stress but, me hey, out you know what? Was, you, you know what's crazy? Me out. We ordered what are you the, even gonna sell fast? Yeah, it sell fast as fuck. That, um, uh, we dropped the bag before, but we I never put it out. We 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 worked on the design for like a year, like a year almost. Mm -hmm. And um, we before it was only the front clear, with mm. the, and the back was like the waves and shit. Like it, it just wasn't. When I got it, I was like, hell no, I don't like this shit. No doubt. Then we did all clear, and they came. I didn't like them shits. I was like, man, hell no, shit. this shit look bunk. Then we put the weed in there, and then we sealed it. I was like, oh, it's over. Like you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. over. Like, but then by I'm then shelf life. The lights just murdering trichomes, the, but you the, sold it quick, bro. The the weed, the weed ages so nicely. I've had like like left a, we have a bucket of like the stragglers and shit, right? Yeah. And so we'll let we'll let the employees like buy from there at the at the end of the week, right? Sure. So like, say there's like a leftover one in there that's been there for a while. Mm -hmm. I've seen like a three month old batch, you know, like one eighth, like found an eighth and shit. Still cool. It, Still busting, still yeah. busting, like, like no problems, like it, it was just right, man. It's Hell right, yeah. and that that's why I picked it, um, because I would have went with the Dino Duck, but Dino Duck, the it it oxidizes faster than the so I got you, got so you. I got don't you. want, I don't yeah, want, yeah, you don't want to be fucked up on the island. Yeah, I don't want to you know be fucked saying? up, but but the high is so intense on Dino Duck that um, what was that one? Do you, Di you disclose uh, that one? Undisclosed. That undisclosed is the Goonies gotcha. and Jelly Co. Gotcha. That that that's probably one of the strongest like buzz. I like that, that one. I had that, that one. That motherfucker. It, it it's one of the earlier ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. That that's yeah. been a consistent mover. So no that's doubt. that bitch is strong. The the duck sauce is a little lighter. So I'm gonna go with duck sauce. Duck sauce. <laughs> duck sauce with a big boss. So if you could bring back a strain, what would it be? And this shit is for show gone. It's not around no more. It, a for show strain that's gone? What would you bring back? That that old batch of GDP. 
I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Some sell me what you, how you leaned in on that. Or is he gonna bring the GDP so back? I can uh, tell because a lot of people do want to bring that back, bro. Bring, bring that bitch back. You that know what I mean? It's arguably the most answered bring back strain GDP. Yeah, I know. And Cap has Cap has been scoring some points too lately. That um, yeah, my boy is growing GDP like no other right now. Nice. Let's so. talk weed etiquette. <coughs> what sure. fucking grinds your gears? What's your pet peeve? Don't smoke by me when I'm eating. Okay, that's a good option. I don't like that shit either. I don't like that shit. I mean, like, if I'm hungry, no, I don't give a fuck. Right, but like, right, right. No, I don't be puffing, like, all by me and shit. It fucks up your taste, bro. You know what I'm saying? saying? Uh, uh, don't, don't be spitting all on the joint tip. Don't get me sick, bro. Don't smoke with me knowing you sick, dog. That shit. Now I wake up with a scratchy throat oh, yeah. and shit, and you fucking nigga shit up. Man. I got body twice this year off that, bro. Come on, and bro. right before I went to New York for 420, I was still half dying when I got Yeah, I would have been mad as Sorry, fuck. I should, probably shouldn't be saying that. But, uh, <laughs> but, you know, we made it, baby. We made a movie out there, you know? A <laughs> hundred more people sick. But somebody got me fucking sick, man. Yeah, I'd probably fuck up. Yo, but you know what? Fuck that. I gave everybody this claim I was smoking. It's like, yo, I just had the vid, son. Oh, you and let I, everybody know. And I'm and like, nah, man, it's past. Give me that shit, man. I don't give a fuck about I'm like, fuck, oh, it's yeah. okay. It was tripping. Okay, and I, I didn't get nobody like, sick that I know of. Hell know, yeah, you know man. My bad. Yeah, don't, don't, do not fucking <laughs> smoke with me if you sick, bro. That's, yeah, that's if I choose cool, to man. hit your cool. shit. And what else? Don't hand me a fucked up joint. I mean, honestly, bro. If I if it's time to get high and practice patience, it, get give me that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It, right. It, so, fuck it. It's all good. That's cool. That's cool. Right, those, uh, are, those are good ones. I got another one. When um, yes, yeah, sir. You hit that Palermo? When someone rolls up and they put the tip in and it's fucking weed outside the tip. Oh, the crumbs outside can, the tip. <laughs> Yo, my boys, my you know boys, what I'm Papa talking about. Hate that shit, bro. They hate that shit. <laughs> It'd be a perfect ass doink, and it's this fucking look like right here, right here. That shit just drive you nuts. Yeah, that shit drives me nuts. Yeah, tuck all that shit. Tuck all that shit, man. Have some fucking class. They, exactly, you know what I mean? That that <laughs> those are my weed etiquettes. Favorite place to smoke. Favorite fucking place to smoke. The motherfucking car. Yeah, the car's a good one. While I'm blasting the shit out of my music yes. by myself. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All that Jeezy, all that Gucci, all that Richard Factor, all that Jacka. Okay. That's, that's that's what I'm listening to. You fuck with anybody from the East Coast? Hell yeah. I was with? a heavy, like a heavy goddamn gang star. Gang star? Oh, you went yeah. underground. Man, I love DJ that. Premier, bro. P -p -p Premier, Premier. Hell yeah. I fuck with Premier, dog. I that's my Premier. favorite. Favorite. Favorite, favorite yeah, producer, bro. All I time. wish niggas scratched again. DJ, start bro, scratching on, again, man. bro. Come on, bro. Yo, I used to tell people, like, when I explain to people the, the East Coast rap scene and shit from out here, I'm like, bro, like, back in the day, and even still now, like, the true New York rappers, like, bro, you ain't got no album if you don't got at least one preem beat on there. Come on. Just one. You need one in preem beats. Pay attention. You'll, you'll see, like, a lot of the greats, at least one preem beat. All your favorite East he Coast too, rappers. He, he too hard. You Way got too motherfucking hard, Black Moon. You Black you Moon. you you oh, from Jersey, so you fuck with Milk Bone. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah bro. Yeah, like, bro, like, hey, shout out Zo. He put me on that. He from Jersey. Um, and I didn't know that was that beat that Artifacts, he got on. Fucking it's Lords of the Underground. All of that all shit. That Jersey and shit. then then the homies up here coming up here, they put me on the jacket and shit. The jacket sound like Rich and then Rich and Rich the Factor from KC. And I'm from oh, Omaha, so that's two hours away. So you hear Rich all through the city. Oh, that's cool. People bumping Rich the Factor, and you know what I'm saying, whoever else. But um, all that mob music, all that all that gritter music, like I fuck with all that shit. If oh, if yeah. I don't but if if I don't believe you, I ain't fucking with it. Yeah, yeah, that too. Everybody that too. said everybody think my, everything I listen to. Oh no, everything I listen to, I just gotta relate to it, and I gotta be able to really feel the shit. I don't I don't wear all the designer shit like that. So like. And I don't be on that shit like that, so I don't relate to that, you know? Yeah. You know who I think you would fuck with, bro? Just based off what you just told me? Two East Coast rappers, two white boy East Coast rappers, two OT The Real and Millie's. You know either one of them? Millie's? Millie's with a Z. That sounds familiar. He's from uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and OT's from Philly. OT from mm -hmm. kind of all over the place, but like he set up shop in Philly and made a name there, you know what I'm saying? That's hard. Yeah, raw, raw, bro. I'll, I'll shoot you some shit. 
Yeah, you, you seem like sure. a yeah. You seem like a, a guy to appreciate raw hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Real life shit. Yeah. Them beats, bro. Oh, and the beats are fucking dummy, them bro. Buck roll beats. Swim. This dude Buck roll does mm -hmm. Millie's beats. This guy's a fucking animal. Them motherfucking the Coco that Brothers, Ill Coco Ill Brothers. Scratch. So you know boot, boot camp clay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? Yeah, you know you tapped all the way in, bro. Yeah, I fuck with all that shit. When you said Black Moon, I was like, oh wow, this guy, this guy knows on the East Coast hip hop. Yeah, that, yeah. Buckshot. That, my uncle did time on the uh, on the East Coast. So okay. when he came out, he was playing all this East Coast shit, and then st and then playing all this Too Short and all this shit out the '80s. He was still yeah. stuck there. Or yeah. he stuck in night. stuck in the early '90s. Yeah, that's great, bro. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So that we used to hear that. You know, sure. when we we be on our way to go cut cut yards, or, you know what I'm saying to go demo a house yep. or some shit, you know, fuck with some drywall. Yep. So. That's, that's what cool. that's what got me interested in that. Yeah, that's funny. Joey that's funny Crack that. and Big Joey Crack. Shit. Yeah, bro. His first couple albums were stupid. He's done great for himself, career wise. Jeff Fat Joe, great. Hell yeah. He's like the OG Dawn of the hip hop shit. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. big boss of the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody respects him, gives it up. It was like he, yeah, bro. He consistent. He's always been that though. He's like, like it's like you said, you like real shit. Like, mm -hmm. bro, he really. You ask anybody from the Bronx, like from that era, they'll tell you like he really ran blocks. Like Fat Joe was the dawn. Joey yeah. Crack, right? Joey Crack. Really Joey Crack, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah, he's got an ill story. I fuck with all that. I'd love to meet him one day, man. I will. Crack. I'm sure I will. You know Joey, Joey Crack, holla at your boy. Holla. You know what I'm saying? Holla. I'll be around like a donut. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, if one strain described you, what would it be and why? Um. One strain describe me. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Ain't none of that candy shit. Tell you that right now. <laughs> Ain't none of that. Probably some goddamn <coughs> GMO cookies or something. Okay. Some, some that get, like, cause I, I feel like I'm already like high, like high strung. Like I'm, I'll be at least away. I'll be, I'll be ready. So, I think GMO, I don't smoke it because it gives me too much. Oh, it turns you up? Yeah, too much, bro. Yeah, it's a, heavy, it's a heavy one for me. Yeah. It's my Man. system heavy. GMO. Mm. Bro, bro, that's cool. This, this, no, hey, this is your truth, bro. GMO. GMO? Yeah, because I, I don't like the weed, but what the weed do, I feel like that's what I would do. Okay. To, I would do. Okay. If someone was to roll me a smoke beat, I would do that to him. I'm not gonna put him on their ass. Okay. You gonna get out there and be a millionaire. I like <laughs> it. Out there I like get it. it, boy. You know? If you could smoke with two people, one that's dead, one that's still alive, who would they be? Someone asked me that before, but this time I'm gonna switch it up. I'm not gonna say the same thing. I'm gonna choose who else I... Yeah, um, people to smoke with, my cousin Jock. That he's with us? Or no, nah, he's nah, no longer he not with, with us. us. That's so, right, that's who you named the store after. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would definitely Dope. burn with my boy. Hell yeah, uh, bro, I feel that for sure. And who the fuck else who I wanna smoke with? Who else I wanna smoke with, dog? Who the fuck I wanna smoke with? Maybe like, who? I like to get high with Dave Chappelle. Love that answer, bro. Dave uh, Chappelle and Snoop mostly come up, of, and, and, yeah, for that question, for who's still I got, I got questions for Dave. That'd be a great and cipher. And he smokes, too. Yeah. He smokes, too. And give them some weed when he's done. Yeah, definitely, bro. Definitely. If your brand was a band, who would it be? It could be multiple bands or rappers, singers. If it was a rap, if, if my... Anybody, bro. Uh, my shit is DMX, but, and you know what I'm saying? My shit is Ooh, I like DMX, this. like the energy, like the yeah. reaction I, we get out of people. We like DMX in this bitch. Shout you to seen DMX, that video man. where you had all the people rocking, you had on the red overalls and shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it was hella people way in the back and shit. That's how I feel. That's, that's, how, that's how I feel. You know Damn, what I mean? The spirit of DMX, I love that. Like. The energy. No Not doubt. That's, hey, I love that answer. That tells me everything I need to know. Yeah. So, shout out your favorite plug from back in the day, bro. Who took care of Ted? Who was your fucking guy? 
Dubs and Juan. Dubs and Juan, nice. They took bro. care of nice. your boy, man. Nice, um, man. When, and, you know, I, no, when they, I don't even want to shout out to other people. You know what I'm saying? But who took care of me, like, and had me smoking righteously. Up. Them two. That's what's up. Them two. What's the best and the worst advice somebody ever gave you, bro? In no particular order. I think one that really stuck with me is uh uh all real like all real niggas not street and all street niggas not real. Mm. I, I think that one um That's fire. That's I think true. It's true. I think definitely because uh just coming up like you influenced by you know what I'm saying the people the people that that got bread you know what I mean in the neighborhood whatever it is and we looked up to people and idolized them and shit like that and definitely want to be like that and get on that type of shit that's how I got on that like hey I'm gonna catch you mm -hmm. that's how I got on that you know what I mean mm -hmm. and so um like uh, like in order for me to make the jump that I made to do the test buzz thing, I had to tell myself that all the time, because I'm during this transition I'm losing like my friends and the people that of I course. fuck with through on on the way, and that I'm comfortable in uh, who I'm fucking with, so that I've worked with all of that shit. So like, um, I had to tell myself that, you know, you what you're doing is right or the direction you're going in is right. And yeah, you don't be influenced back in the, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Back into that because now you eye level, you know what I mean? You, yes, sir. You eye level and you're trying to do something bigger. So uh, I think that one kept me straight and keeps me doing skits, keeps me willing to um, do music. Mm -hmm. I have to tell myself that because within, um, our society and within our, you know, different communities, people often judge or like that things are taboo or things are like, people just judge and have a lot to say. Everybody has an opinion. You know what I mean? Some things are, are, are deemed acceptable or cool and other things aren't. So like, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> shit. Um, so that's why I drop content and don't give a fuck who think of what people think about it. Because at the end of the day, this is what's helping us and getting us paid. And, yeah, right. And I got a I got a staff and a family to, you know what I'm saying, to make sure they're employed and make sure that they're able to eat and take care of them, you know what I mean? So <laughs> How many people you got in the squad? It's like eighteen of us. Nice. It's a good crew. Good crew. It's Hard good working crew. crew. Everybody believe in the company, believe in where we going. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So and you said it's a well oiled machine, I figured that, you know? Mm hmm it, it, in order to be, it has to be like that. Yeah. You know? So, Good for you, man. Congrats, congrats to all your success, man, and how you put all that together, man. I love it. Love to hear it, man. It was dope. It was dope learning about the story, bro. Uh, um, one last question before we get into the rapid fires and then wrap up. If you could go back to the young you before you hopped off the porch, what would you tell you? Um, I tell myself. These people now who, you know, what you think, you know, like that probably be the, the main thing because it was a lot of deceit and yeah, like, bro. like, yeah. Yeah. Like I didn't realize how I got older when things were like, a uh, matter of fact. You deal with so much of that on your come up, bro. Just people now who, yeah, people now who you think they are. Mm hmm And, you know, and. After just, yeah, they know who you, who you, who you think they are. Yeah. Just don't idolize nobody. Yeah. But that idolization is what keeps you pushing. Sometimes that's the motivation that, that keeps you pushing, trucking, doing what you do for the moment. So, yeah. I mean, that's maybe that's just part of the process. Yeah. You gotta it have is. you gotta have something to look forward to or idolize. I'm looking forward to getting this watch because that nigga over there got this watch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm that, that competitive spirit keep you going. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. So I can't even say I would tell myself that because that 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 and trying to and trying to help my family, like during the tough times 
um, that's what that was also another motivating factor. You know, it was two two reasons I was going. Like, it was just the motivation, and just knowing that you could do you could do this, and this is this is a way. And I don't know. I'm done talking about that shit. That's good, bro. It's good, man. It's good advice to, to tell your younger self. Yeah, for sure. So, yo, I'm gonna hit you with these rapid fire questions before we get out of here, right? These are one word answers. Just try mm -hmm. to keep it one word. Ready? Yeah. Do you like to smoke in the heart of the cold? Hot. Joints or blunts? <laughs> <laughs> Joints. Bongs or bowls? You said bongs or bowls? Bongs or bowls, like a pipe. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Bong. Do you dab? No. All right, we're going to skip that one. Street sports or book sports? You got to have both, baby. Batman or Superman? Oh, Superman. Haze or sour? Sour. Nas or Jay-Z? Shit. God damn it, man. I got to go with the Jigga, man. DMX or Tupac? DMX. He's a real DMX fan, folks. <laughs> Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat? Mortal Kombat. Regular doinks or hash holes? Regular doinks. Past that, I'm smoking this to the face. I passed that. Favorite Ninja Turtle? Donatello. 80s and 90s? Man, goddamn, both of them cool. I'm gonna go with the 90s, though. NorCal or SoCal? Man. I gotta give it up for both, man. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one, man. Fuck. Pizza or tacos? Tacos. Pizza with pineapples or no pineapples? I don't give a fuck. He's a savage, folks. Tacos or burritos? Tacos. In and out of five guys? In and out. Cheetos or Flamin' Hot Cheetos? Flamin' Hot. The Wire or The Sopranos? Fuck. I knew this was coming. <laughs> you know what, man? I'm gonna go with the soprano. Thank you, sir. Bro. Pacino or De Niro? De Niro. Godfather one, two, or three? One. Automatic or revolver? Revolver. Leave the gun or take the cannoli? Leave the gun or take the cannoli? I wanna take the gun. You got damn right. That's a joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> After the Godfather, remember he said, "Leave the gun, take the cannoli." Yeah. Smoke Disney carts or last year's outdoor for one month. Last year's outdoor. <laughs> <laughs> You're lost in the woods. You get a pack of matches or a hatchet. What you going with? The hatchet. You're getting chased by a bear or a shark. Bear. Body shot or face shot by Mike Tyson? Fuck. Body shot. Shot a 151 or a hot dab? 151. Crawford or Spence? Bud Crawford. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a special one for you, brother. Shot, uh, we already did that one. Gelato runs turps or OG gas? Give me the OG gas. Tupac or Big? I'm gonna go with, God damn it, Biggie. Wu Tang or Death Row? God oh, damn it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go with Death Row. My man, good shit, brother. Good Before shit. we get up out of here, man, um, I'd like to share with people the power network, you know what I'm saying? You could really meet anybody you want if you do it right, you know what I'm saying? So, how did we meet? And uh, who do you know that I should know that I should get on the show? Oh man, I got a list of people that should. Oh, for real? Me. Hell yeah! Hit me, hit me with a couple. First and foremost, you need to go ahead and get. Uh, you need to get Jelly Co on here. Okay. You need to get the Goonies on here. Okay. You should probably get Dubs on here. Yeah, Dubs has been requested. Yep. Um, you probably want to get Goddamn. Link me up with these guys. I'll send you all yeah, their numbers. Please. Like please. you need to get uh, Key from Cream City. He one of the original people who had. Uh, the GDP back in the day. Um, okay. Did, did time behind all this shit. You know what I'm no saying? No doubt. And so, um, 
I'm gonna send you everybody number. Please, like bro. some of the, the the pillars that I know, like within. You I know, love that. Network. Thank you, man. Please yeah. do. And uh, how did we meet, bro? Lydian City. Lydian City. We just introduced Dude, we, each other. Yeah, we yeah. just we just chopped it up. And then Sopranos. Yeah. We became homies right away. Sopranos, you know what man. Saying? He was my cool gene right away. He drive him crazy. Other side. <laughs> this shit <laughs> I just got done watching that shit again. Hell yeah. I, I rewatch it all the time. I, I don't watch Yo, the last watch episode this. though. It sucks, bro. Yeah, it I don't watch fucks it. Me. There's so much gold in that episode though, bro. It pissed me off. They whack fucking Phil. Yeah. You know what I mean? They have yeah. that infamous sit down where like, everything's cool again. Yeah. And they still whacked them. Bro, this shit. But uh yeah. I, I can't watch it. It's tough, bro. It's you know what I'm about to do? This is really gonna stress you out. Shout out to my boy Danny Soprano, um, Time in Memorial. He watched this shit backwards from back to the front. I'm about to do that. I'm about to watch the last episode and just run it backwards. Just for content, just keep my shit shit. I use a lot of the content for yeah. content. It's only gonna I'm, happen once. I'm down, try that. Give it a shot. Let me know. We'll stress out together. You know why I picked the pick the goddamn pick the Sopranos over the wire? I don't know, but I, I, I feel better about that answer than the pizza and tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh marinara, marinara sauce gives me acid reflex. I gotta get white pizza. Oh no shit! Hell yeah! No shit! Damn, bro. Uh, and that shit fucks you know what? Me up. It kind of fucks me up now too. I thug it, but it fucks me up. Now too. <laughs> yeah, I got what are you burping and shit? Shit's in like, my blood. Don't, don't let me get pizza, beer, and be smoking, dog. I'll yeah, be, I'm thumbs up. Hell you yeah, bro. So. Hell yeah. Um, so what? Do, what can we plug for you? How can we help you, man? How can I reach into my network and help you? Anything you want to plug? Do so before we get up out of here. Anything like shit. I mean, what man. You got, what you need from us, brother? It's shit. Uh, uh, what you need from me, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like you, you tell me what you need. I'm, I I'm like here. It. I'm here for you. You know, like Love you that. let me know whether it's distro. You come holler at me. Okay. You know, hell like, yeah. Shit, like you. There's some kill. Like no straight doubt. up. You no know what I'm saying? So like, there ain't no reason. No doubt. And you know. I think that Palermo that we spoke, that past QC, for me, how to do for you. Yeah, everything go everything has been up. everything has been ten of ten. All right. You know what there I'm you saying? have it, folks. Well shit, man. You already know. Ted from Tez Buzz, man, tap in. If you don't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? Tez Buzz in the house. Tez man. Buzz in the house. Good pizza. You, you know already saying? know, man. So like, subscribe, hit the Patreon, support your big cool gene. We appreciate y'all, man. Peace, love, good pizza. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out.